Welcome to Howie Mandel Does Stuff. I'm Howie Mandel. I am Jacqueline Schultz, his daughter. And we're doing another live. We're here live. It's Thursday. I will tell you, I'm really excited about this. I'm excited for many reasons. One, John Edward is coming in. Mm -hmm. And last week when we were here with Ethan, we were talking about how many people saw our John Edward episode mm -hmm. and loved it, um, had comments. I read the comments. I, you know, and, and there are believers and non-believers. So I said, let's do it again and uh, let the audience participate, the audience and friends live. So we're not editing anything. We're not making things up. We also, you put on your, I did too, on our Instagram, and I don't know where else you put it, but to, if you were interested in getting a reading from John Edward today, you can fill out an application. Therefore, it wasn't just people that we know um, or our acquaintances, it was you guys too. That was, they filled out an application and hopefully we'll get to some of them. Okay, and then uh, we're still waiting on Tana. Tana. Howie for Audis. I love that that's continuing. Well, we'll All continue. the Audis that are watching. Well, for those that don't know, if you weren't here last week, that's a Audi referring to a vagina Audi. Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, I was uh, commenting on um, Tana, uh, uh, Tana's, uh, how do you say her last name? I can't, I can't pronounce it. I say every time I say Mojo, but maybe I'm wrong. Mojo, yeah, yeah Tana Mojo. Her, she's got a canceled podcast. It's called, and they were talking about vaginas on the podcast, and I was a little. Um, you were commenting on on a woman's body, and we were saying not cool. Tana will be here, and if she's here. We'll <laughs> and talk, set you straight. We'll talk about. Or vaginas. I might get two hundred dollars. You still owe me a hundred dollars from last time. Well, she's so she's on her way. Mm -hmm. I'll have my uh, son. Uh, and the, the bigger thing is, and we have uh, Raina is crazy. We're going to do another eating challenge today. Mm -hmm. She's uh, also on her way. She's also, well, everybody's on her way. <laughs> the only thing that's really not on our way is us getting better at this. We don't know what we're doing. We had a lot of comments um, on the last one about the chaos that is our podcast. That we have so many people back there. We have us, but it's so chaotic. Ethan actually helped us. Ethan had a lot of input and went and talked to our crew afterwards. And um, really, I had him sit down and have a seminar with uh, Jeremy and Kenny and Kyle and my son and uh, Freddie and Gary and uh, Cicely and all her crew and uh, Stephen mm -hmm. and Miriam and... Uh, Rodney and the guys back there. Also with uh, Jared and uh, Jeffrey and his the group that uh, works with Jeffrey back there. And also the, um, the whole team in the uh, left quadrant and that's uh, Allison and her team, those seven girls, you're doing a great job. He also spoke to, uh, I think it's Caitlin, it's hard to remember everybody's name, Caitlin and her team about, you know, just keeping it smooth. Um, I did hear from uh, uh, Randy that uh, he felt that he was uh, left out, that Ethan did not come into their office and speak to them, um, but they feel that they've got a handle on what they're doing today. Um, Guy, and uh, Guy and uh, what's his name, Irvin, that works with him, feel that today they're going to be better than they were last week. Um, Miriam and uh, Jacob, her husband, who comes in and helps her with uh, this podcast, also said that they're really excited today, and they feel like they've they've risen. Um, they've done that th th today. You're going to notice the difference from what they do. Um, I, I want to also mention that uh, Garrett uh, said that he felt like he did the best job he could possibly do, and there is no way it could be better. Yet his um, assistants, um, uh, Ryan and uh, uh, Alice, I think is her name, said that they didn't feel that he was doing, he wasn't doing his work up to par and they're gonna to talk to him because they were in the meetings that Ethan had with a lot of our people. Um, 
I also spoke to uh, our team, our broadcast team, uh, who is, uh, it's so hard, Shana and uh, <laughs> Gladys, who said that we as a group have to work together as one, and I'll never forget it, we were in the meeting with them, and um, Daryl said, are you talking to me? And I said, Daryl, we're talking to everyone. And he said, who? And I said, Michelle and... Uh, uh, Wait, did you get Garrett? They said, don't leave Garrett out. Did you get Garrett? Are they saying, don't leave Garrett out? Yeah. He felt that I was uh, uh, that I left him out, but uh, what had happened is he had to take a call because he was in the phone room with uh, Stefan and uh, Miriam, who were leading that team there. So we feel that, uh, you know, this isn't just us. Mm -hmm. oh, don't, is, don't forget Clark. I'm sorry. Uh, Clark and who works with Clark? Stacy. Stacy. Clark and Stacy, you know, there are uh, some of our newest members. They've been with us for only the last seven months. So I just a thumbs up to Clark and Stacy and uh, show them love in the comments and everything. Because I think that their work has been really standing out on this live broadcast more than. Well, I don't want to name names, but you know who I'm who I'm talking about. We've what what? Nothing, nothing. Yeah. Uh, also, a special shout out to uh, Gwyn. <laughs> Why you? Are, every time I say Gwyn, she giggles because uh, on the last broadcast last Thursday, Gwyn had a standout moment. I don't think I have to bring it up. I think if you were here last week, you're going, "Oh my god." What is Gwen doing? But uh, did, did I leave anybody else out, guys? No. They said Clark and Stacy are the best, though. You don't pick favorites. But he was going to say something. What? Kyle, did we leave anybody out? Glenn? I think Glenn, but I think that's the last one. Is Glenn here today? Uh, he's, he's working remote, I think. Okay, he's working remote. All right, but anyway, I, th just so you know that this is a team effort. It's not just Jackie and I. There are... I think we're up to, uh, just to get this out live, what are we up to? Like one, it's 166 of us just working as one. Yeah. Dakota asked if we would ever have Bobby Lee on to make an appearance. Um, yes. We should call him and see if he'll come I've on. I've had Bobby Lee on. No, I know, but we had like no. the interview. No, stuff. but just to have him hang out. Like live, like just hang out live. That's I love a great this idea. live stuff. I'm going to call Bobby Lee this week and see if he'll do the next live. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. I love your input. And uh, thank you for mentioning her name because it's very important to me to mention everybody's name. Dakota. <laughs> Dakota. I will, Don't forget if, Dakota. If you want your name mentioned, just let me know. <laughs> and then I'll make you part of the team too. <laughs> I also want to point out that we do, uh, I do uh, react to who's ever watching and who's ever commenting. And uh, that's how I learn. What? Well, go ahead. Well, last time we got um, kind of we got feedback from like 22 of the people back there in, in that back room. They said that we need to pay closer attention to the comments. Rodney didn't say that. It was only 21 of them. Anyway, the point uh -huh. is we we're paying we're paying attention to your comments and your uh, and thank you for being part of this. I see mm -hmm. you. I comment to you and a lot of people have been mad at me throughout and not just on the last slide, but they've been mad at me because you have brought up an issue you have. What? What, what issue do you have with this uh, podcast? My name not being in the title? Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. 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 Did you change it? I don't know. I did. I felt bad. This is our new title card right no now. No way. Yeah. No way. Watch this. No way. Yes. It ready? Uh-huh. Just black this. Didn't they? No, there it is. That's our new, that's our new. Uh... Is that really new? Yeah. That's what it is from now on? Yes. That's good. Well, settle. It's really, it's. <laughs> settle down. <laughs> it's really little though. It's really. It's <laughs> I said, I said to Jeremy, don't show her. She's going to be so surprised. It's going to be a really nice Wait, moment. Wait, is it changed on everything? Or are you just putting it in our background right now for like this one moment to what get do you a mean reaction out of me? Well, it was to get a reaction out of you. This is going to be changed. But what do you mean on everything? On like, the podcast, you, not in life. <laughs> Wherever no, like, I go, go, I'm not going to go, ladies and gentlemen, Howie Mandel with Jacqueline Schultz. 
No, I mean like, you know when you look stuff uh, on YouTube and stuff, is it Howie Mandel does stuff? This is the YouTube new channel. Jeremy, this is on Jack everything now, right? No. Yeah, banners and all that stuff. All everything. Around, yeah. Thank yeah. you, Black Media Presents. Wow. Yeah. They've been on the show too. Wait, it's on banners, it's on everything? Like you're not just showing me oh, this. Oh, Black Media like Presents, I love his music. I love, that's one Wait, of my favorite, go ahead. Can we focus? Okay. I wanna know, I wanna know what you're showing me before I react. Look behind you. No, I know, but like, are you just posting, posting this behind me right now for a reaction, but like You want it behind you in life, wherever no. you go? <laughs> In the mall? But like, is it when you look up on Apple Podcasts and stuff, is this the new thing or is it still your head with glasses uh, and them. it says Howie Mandel does stuff? No more dome head with the glasses in the back on any uh, go, moving forward. What? Yeah, yeah, dome head's gone. No way. So this is like legit? Yeah, yeah, if you want to. Yeah. If I wanted to, that's not what you planned. You're, is that it is planned? What, is that, it changed? Well, this is the first time <laughs> it's been shown. So now it will okay, change. Okay, I'm excited. Not so much. I'm excited. Not so much. I am excited. You're I didn't a bad know, actress. I didn't know what you were showing me. Yes, you did. The first reaction was, oh, look how small my name is. No. <laughs> I like it. No, you I don't. really like it, and I'm really excited. A little spoiled, are we? No. I think we are. I feel bad now that I didn't have the reaction you were looking well, for. Well, I feel worse because it was a reaction to me. I am really excited. This is a big deal for me because Not I've so been much. complaining about this for like two years. It is a big deal. And people in the comments kept saying, do... Jackie Wright, you're not, it's not nice that you don't put his name. We're sick of seeing your head backwards, face. So two of us together with our hats on, I thought was nice. No, that is nice. Do you I like, like it? it? I really like it. But you don't like the size of your name. No, I do like you it. I didn't know what I was looking at. I didn't know if you just made a background for today. And I'm you like, You have to understand, you. your That's name nice can't too. be my size. I am. You are I'm a, a celebrity. I'm a major celebrity. Yeah. I am loved by millions. I, I am that. a huge star. Yeah. I am like, <laughs> sometimes I pass myself in the mirror and what is Alex pointing at? Huh. What is he pointing at? Tell me what he's pointing at. We're just coming up with some different graphic design ideas. Thank Bunch you, Ricky. What team, what team is working on it? Are you working with Ricky and, the, and her, the Ricky 16, her 16? No, Ricky, Ricky just yeah. said, so happy for you, Jackie. I'm happy too. Was I'm it not glad showing? Ricky, no, I'm glad Ricky's happy. Ricky, I yeah. wish you were my daughter or son or my kid or whatever you are, because Ricky knows how to react. Ricky gets happy. Jackie Ricky. is a little spoiled. No, I'm not. I just oh, didn't yes, know what I was looking at. You're looking at a picture. You can't be any clearer than that. <laughs> that is the new logo. You go, oh, look how small my name is. I am a major star. I am huge. Do you know how lucky you are to be my daughter? And it's a good picture too. Do you know how lucky you too. are to have Thank your you. name shared? Who picked the picture? Jeremy? No. Thank you. I like the picture. It's a good picture too. Who picked the picture? Jeremy. He, Jeremy, honestly. He who said picked yes. The he's he lying. Said yes. Let, Jeremy, you're, <laughs> you are lying. Jeremy, seriously, move the mic at you. Move the mic at you. Did you pick the picture? Uh, Lou did. What? It was Lou. No, be, no I want to be Lou, serious with Lou you now. Lou has already Jack, told Jackie, me. Jackie, it was your daddy. He it did. was you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know it wasn't Lou, because Lou told me that I don't look good without makeup on. You Lou, did. You, Lou, did. you did. You did tell me Lou, that. Lou, you can't, I, we can't hear Lou. Dead. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, that's a good point. So that was Lou. And there was an episode. There was an episode where I was sitting back there right before we started. And I was like, I'm just going to go in without putting my makeup on. I don't really feel like putting makeup on. And he's like, why would you do that? You look so much better with makeup. He said that. You did. You did. Right to her face. What I meant to tell you uh -huh. is that you look beautiful always, but the makeup enhances your makes face. you look better. Makes you look, look better, better with <laughs> you look better with makeup. She said to you, "I'm going on without makeup this time. I don't feel like putting on makeup." And you said, "Why would you do that? You look so much better with makeup." And it wasn't a joke. He was he wasn't performing. It was just straight to me. You look so much better with makeup though, you look Jackie. Beautiful today. Yeah, you could always I'm wearing tell makeup. Up. I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> Can't take that back. I don't know why you're making fun of him. Look what I've done for you. And you go, oh, look how small my name is. It's the same kind of thing. Your name is there. Where's the door dash? Uh, oh, yeah. What? 
can we get Jacqueline to do a, oh, so black uh, uh, media entertainment, mm -hmm. they want you to mm -hmm. be featured. They want to do a video on the wheels on the bus go round and round. I know we said we were going to do that, but I have the worst voice. They, they can, uh, they can, can you auto tune her? Don't say they auto tune. No, they, they don't auto tune Not them. them, but I'm saying musicians could auto tune you. They can make you, they can make you sound like you know what you're doing. And maybe they'll just use your talking voice and then that, you gotta, you gotta go listen to them and follow them. I watched all their lives on TikTok. They're amazing. And I just also it's saw- It's here, Taco, Taco Bell's here, by the way, at the front door, I yeah, think. Yeah, bring it in. This is what we're gonna do. This is for our eating challenge. Yeah. Tana's not here yet. John, but Taco Bell. John Edward isn't here yet. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Rainy is crazy is not here Raina. yet. Raina, Raina. Is, cra is crazy. Lou's here. Yeah. Um, nobody's here yet. We're really not ready to go. What, Lou? What are you saying? What are you saying, he Lou? Wants he wants a moment. You want a moment? <laughs> Lou's asking okay. for his moment. He's asking for a moment. Go ahead. Play it. Lou's moment. Hi. See, they're so good. Hello, Hello, that's right. Hello, the cues. <laughs> like I know that he what? eats chips and he's right. walked in here a couple times. Hello. Yeah, it's live. Why are you here? What? We want some fucking ship laugh, motherfucker. They can't see Punch you though because up, your thing is playing. Your do, do. thing is playing. Open it. Doobity hopity do. Please let me finish this. Umbrella in a can. Well, how are you? Okay. And uh, it's a loo moment. Time for the moment. <laughs> Oh my God. How are you? you, you it's a good thing. It's really nice to be here. Let me, have you ever had it? Have you ever, have you ever had? He has not figured out. He walked in and he went, is this, you ever is had this, a, is this, is this, this live? live? Yeah. He had no and idea. And he was waving to the camera. I'm waving to the wrong camera. Because it's live. And he starts talking. Hello, right everybody. The, he starts Hello. talking when the video's still playing. It's, this is he live. Had, Hello, everybody. The this mic is, is never near him. But I'm talking in the mic now. He doesn't know. Anyway. Let me just, just say did. this. No, Let not just now. Say. That's it. Lou moment. Um, Thank you. All right. Okay. Go. Uh, we need so an apology, Lou. They said uh, we, uh, I need an apology. Oh, I guess that's Lou. it. No, no more Lou. I don't get my apology. You walked in here a couple times. Why are you here, Lou? We want some fucking ship lap, motherfucker. Punch it up, Lou. But hoopity do do who? Hoopity who? Doobity hoopity do. Lou, please let me finish this. Umbrella in a can. It's a Lou moment. <laughs> oh my gosh. He brought a lot of uh, he brought a lot of paperwork today. Yeah. He really did. Yeah. That was a good moment. Uh huh. Uh, usually the moments I, I thought out of a lot of the, the moments that one was, and feel free to comment. I was hoping on it. for an apology, and then he the moment was over, so I didn't get my apology. So would you not sing with uh, with them? Would you not sing the wheels on the bus? It's embarrassing. I'm not a good singer. Let me hear. No. Raina sang. Rainy sang. She could sing. She's a good singer. She could eat and sing. At I can't. The same time. No. Nope. That would be amazing. Anyway, um, Tana is on her way. I don't know if- You know uh, what? I did pull though. I was looking at stuff um, on TikTok because that's what I do. And I pulled a few things that maybe we could talk about since we have time. And Tana and Raina aren't here yet and they're on their way and they're stuck in traffic. No, Taco Bell is here. Did, we, did the close, did the we did come in? Let me see what's that. Oh, Raina is the, here. Raina's hi, Raina. Here. Hi, Raina. Hi. Hi. Oh, you look oh, beautiful. Oh, you look cute. Wow. I love the outfit. Wow. Nala, right? Uh, how are you? Hi. Do you want to have a sit? Here, I can switch seats. I can switch seats with you again eat? so that you can eat. Yeah, she'll and do I'll that. And I'll just take the computer over there again. Today we're going to do is it, they said the Taco Bell was here, but he hasn't brought it in yet. Has he brought it Did in? Bring it in? Yeah, he should bring in the what? I don't see it yet. I think he's setting it well, up cuz you thank said you, you wanted Kyle, that's the same as what I said. You said you want it pretty, so I'm sure he's setting it up. You had no, Strict I'm saying not, not in a bag. Pretty. Take it out of the bag so that they can Why? see. Because the people should see what she's going to do. It's going to be a huge challenge. The chaos has begun, people. Do you believe, uh, Ra Raina, do you believe in life after death? For to an extent, yeah. Pardon me? To an extent. To an extent, yeah. To an extent. How can it be like, it's either yes or no. She doesn't have a, she's not near the mic. 
No, I know. He, they're saying you got to be near the mic, but you're setting up your cameras. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, are you talking okay. to that mic? Okay, I'll talk in here for now. You can um, set up while. Uh, I don't know. It's like, I don't really think too much of it. I think there is something, but I'm not sure kind of deal. Can, can you I, make up your mind tonight? Can I go to that one? Like even for the rest of the podcast, can I go to that one? Yeah. Yeah. See, these are why we should have, uh, we should have rehearsals. <laughs> No, because it's chaos. People did you like think, the chaos. How did you feel about, you, you should text everybody and tell them you're here live. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. You're yeah. doing that right yeah. now? How was it? Did you enjoy being on it last week? Yeah, it was really fun. Did you think it was chaotic? It was a good chaotic. Yeah, and did people, did you get any, did anybody stop you and go, oh, you were on Howie's or you were working with Ethan Klein or H3? Or? I was, uh, I got a lot of comments, yeah. Yeah, was really cool. what was the overriding comment and feeling from the, your your audience? I got a lot of positive feedback and really? they were just very happy to see me on the show. And even when I was streaming my uh, video gaming, even people were coming on and saying that too. It was really cool. Fantastic. <laughs> um, do you notice anything, Raina, different about the background and everything I or was, anything? I, yeah, you're on it. Woo! <laughs> and what do you think? I like it. Right? Yeah. So much better. So much better. Really Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Thanks, team. She reacted better than you. Ugh, Dad, she stop did. it. The first thing, the first thing she said is my name. Ricky not said, big Jackie, it's your podcast now. Sit wherever you want. I'm taking over, Dad. You think you're the big celebrity? It's all about me. I'm a big star. Is that it? Bring that in. That's fantastic. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> you made it look bigger by just stacking it up on a. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yes, I'm calling you out, guys. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. So that's uh, 10. <laughs> 10 Taco Bell, talk, thank you, Taco Bell. 10 Taco Bell um, breakfast burritos. Okay. Have you ever eaten a Taco Bell? Well, move your mic closer to you. Oh, sorry. Have you ever uh, eaten a Taco Bell breakfast burrito? You know, I rarely, rarely ever have Taco Bell. <laughs> I've maybe had Taco Bell What do you need is, What do you need for- uh, Diet Coke or Coke Zero. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, do you need a- do you need hot water? Do you need hot water? I brought hot tea with me this time. Oh. So oh. I have Who a... brings tea? Hot tea you brought? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me it's still it. hot? Yeah. You have one of those Stanleys? Is that how no, you did? No, oh, uh, water tank. Tea. Wow, that's, um, that... wow. This one's gonna be a little bit different than the last time. Last okay. week, uh, well, you already know, Raina, because we've been talking, but last week it was how many she can eat in five minutes. And you this set a world time, record. Yes, but we didn't have Guinness here. We're contacting Guinness, by the way. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, that's yeah we want to set a record. We want you to come back a lot of Thursdays. Do you want to do that? Sure, yeah. And a lot we'll of set, Thursdays. We'll set records. We'll call Guinness. Okay. One time, we'll, and if you have a, uh, like if you were with a, uh, a food company or a, uh, um, a restaurant or something like that, and you have an idea and a challenge you want her to have, contact us. How do they contact us? I don't even know that. I, th I think the URL is howimandel.com slash contact. David Whispers is here. Thank you, David Whispers. David Whispers is here. Um, oh, he's got breakfast burritos. David Whispers sent breakfast burrito icons. So the reason why this one is a little bit different is because instead of seeing how many she can eat in a matter of, what was it, five well, minutes? Five minutes last time. This time you have 10 and we want to see how fast you can eat all 10. What do you think? 10. Do I you know the weight of one? The weight? Yeah. No. Does, does I actually don't want to really know heavy. what she thinks because I think it'll ruin the challenge that I was thinking of doing with the people that are watching. It goes by weight though. Is that is that the, the thing? Is that the thing? I like, just have a better general idea, a better general idea of like how fast I can eat stuff if I know the weight. It's 10 breakfast burritos. And I didn't take anything out. It comes with like bacon and egg. Mm. Oh, there might what, be some cheese on. in there. You're lactose There's intolerant, cheese. right? It's okay. It'll Are be you, fine. I'll be fine. It'll be fine. Wait, yeah. I messaged you ahead of time and showed you what was in it and you said it's okay, yeah, right? Yeah, no, I, okay. it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll tell you what was in it. I'm used to like cheese. Okay, let me tell you what's in the breakfast burrito. I'll look it up again. Good job, Rich. And your whole team. Thank you to your team and everybody for putting together the pile. Rich, you want to? Who's who's on your team that put this together? Uh, there was Kyle, help me, Jeremy. Kyle, Jeremy. Penny. Penny. Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer. Um, Lily. Lily. And Bill. And Bill. 
Thank you for helping put together this uh, pile of breakfast burritos. How much time are we doing? Or are we- no, you're seeing how many. When we say how go. How much time it takes her to finish all 10. And then we'll finish. And we'll then like stop. you press stop as soon as like she raises her hand that she's done or something. Do you mind if uh, I use the restroom real quick? Go for I it. I want you to use the okay, restroom. Thank you. Uh, um, so what I was going to say is inside, and she already knows this. I sent her the screenshot of what's inside. But inside the breakfast burrito is bacon, fluffy eggs, melted three cheese blend, potato bites, and tomatoes wrapped in a flour tortilla and grilled. I think she's really just going to the bathroom, or do you think she's like... I don't know what the prep is, but do you think she's emptying uh, herself? Dad, no, you don't say that? Uh-uh. Is that politically incorrect? I don't think you should speculate that. Well, I, think, I think they are. Well, let them. You don't participate in that. Well, uh, you know what? When she comes back, I want to talk to our bathroom team. Get Sylvia, <laughs> Garrett, and uh, Phyllis on the, uh, at the mic when she comes out of the bathroom. The bathroom team's still there. But uh, changing toilet paper and soaps and do what they do. Thank you to our restroom team. We can really I ask, appreciate. Can I ask you a question, Alex? In the back, is it considered sponsored if I am giving away stuff that they gave us? Uh, is that considered? Sponsored? I don't know. They didn't pay for it. As long as we are now saying that they're not paying us money but they provided those for free and we want to give them away that's fine yeah taco bell gave us uh, gave us free stuff not they didn't pay us and we bought these we bought the burritos but they did give us some free stuff and i was thinking it would be a good opportunity to do a giveaway i've been wanting to do a giveaway so i think that we should have people try to guess how long it would take her to uh, finish all 10 burritos and if someone got the right answer in the chat then maybe we can reach out to them or they could email us their address and we can send them something i i, I you don't I wanna, like that idea are you saying me are you yeah me? i'm asking you is that okay i wasn't listening that's okay it sounds like a good idea jackie did you hear it <laughs> yeah i did okay can i ask you a question <laughs> yeah and i don't mean this offensively or anything okay she said i i said it wrong you asked to go to the bathroom yeah what did, what did you do in there? Put up her hair. Oh, peed. Okay. No, I just thought because I was asking whether as an eater, you prepare by like emptying yourself out. No, it was just a two hour drive here. I just thank didn't you. use the restroom. Abdeel. What? I said thank you to Abdeel. I'm acknowledging. I'm thanking. Abdeel? Yeah. Or no Abdeel? <laughs> See what I did? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you get it? Yes. Yeah. You know, there's a, no, a new deal or no deal game coming out, and I'm not the host. You're not? No, I'm the executive producer. Oh. Didn't we already no, talk about this? Not with her. Oh, It's wow. J- Joe uh, Manganiello. I don't know who that is. He was married to Sofia Vergara. He was ah. in Magic Mike. Oh. Very oh, handsome. Oh. Oh, okay. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. So are you ready? Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm gonna oh, tell wait, them really fast. Wait, wait. The, they're estimating, right? Yeah, I'm gonna tell them really fast um, so people are saying- what they're getting. They are get we have Taco Bell gift cards. I think each one of them has ten dollars on it. So maybe we send a Taco Bell gift card. We also have a little Taco Bell notebook, a Taco Bell wallet. Oh, that's so cute. A Taco Bell t shirt and a Taco Bell bag, and we also have signed Lou autographs, so we will figure out what we send you out of all of these goodies. All oh, you have to do- signed Lou autographs. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about that? <laughs> That's very cool. It is. Yeah. Would you like a signed Lou autograph? You know who Lou is? Yeah, it's the guy that, the comedian, right? We have moments with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, you, exactly. do you, before you eat, would you like a Lou moment, or um, do you wanna save it, it till after you eat? Whatever you wanna do, you, you call it because you're eating while they're doing it. What's funnier? Uh, we don't go for funny here. We oh. go for like just to please people. I try to please my own daughter and I disappoint with the font size. <laughs> okay, so everyone in the chat, you can guess how long it is going to take her to eat the 10 burritos. I'm gonna make a guess too. And then maybe when we're all done, guys, you can go back and see if anyone guessed it or the closest and maybe pick like three people. Can uh can somebody tell me the weight of one, just so I can like guess? Do we have it? a scale? 
We don't have a scale. What's the weight? We have a burrito one? scale. <laughs> a weight? No. How do we know? You could hold it. Don't you Does know it? Does it say? What would here? you guess? What's the mm. weight of a burrito? Want me to ask Six Google? Ounces. Yeah, maybe like ask the chat. Does anybody, does anybody back there do cocaine and have a scale? <laughs> what no, because is the weight? What? Never okay. do cocaine. Don't even say that. What? Can you dump out of that? Did I just demonetize us? I'm not saying anything. Now I'm being admonished by my it son. I'm not having a good time today. The estimate weight weigh 13 ounces. I see. People Wait, are, no, 8.5 ounce Taco Bell burrito. There are people okay. going four minutes. There are people going 40 minutes. The range of what these people are saying is two minutes and 59 seconds. Really? 10 burritos in two minutes and 59 seconds? We'll go back and look at it after, right? Is that doable, guys? Am I doing something that's making it hard to go back and look to see if no, anyone came close? And no, we, we can look people? at the chat. We can look at the chat. Okay. We'll chat. look at it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 755 to 355. It's funny, like, it, it. you would think that they would put it into one. So without knowing, oh, you know what? Let's mm -hmm. Google, what is the weight of a taco breakfast burrito? I just did that. You weren't listening to me. Oh, I was watching she, another podcast. She said it was like average seven, eight ounces, something like that. I should listen. I don't like to listen to the lives. 8.5 ounce. Because it's like a spoiler. Taco Bell burrito. So 8.5 ounces. Okay. So Compared like, to Chipotle, which is usually 13 ounces. Okay. Why so are you comparing it to another? That's what it says on Google. So like 10 burritos is like roughly around like five, six pounds or something. Yeah. Okay. So what do you, do you so want to make a guess or is that ruining it? She's I never still done don't it. Know. I still don't she's know. Close. Maybe you don't she, know? Okay. She could win. You want to win? You could win. You could win. <laughs> if you guess your time and you're really close, we will give you a $10 Taco Bell certificate coupon. She so you should can get go buy anyways. breakfast burritos. Raina should and get sign, one anyways. And a signed Lou autograph, of course. Right? Yes, and, and a signed Lou autograph. Sign Lou autograph. Yeah. yeah. I'd give you a signed Lou autograph anyway. Do you want a signed Lou autograph? <laughs> sure. Do you want to Do you want to just do a quick meet and greet with Lou before you go? Okay, you know what? Since we're... What? Oh, oh, he left. He left. Oh. Right what, back. Rich? We what? Lou, we'll be right back. Where did oh. he go? I think he went to make more headshots. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't given away one. How did he run out? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> how are you feeling? I'm good. I'm curious to see how it tastes like because I haven't. <laughs> My phone answered. Hmm. Siri how are you answered. doing? I said, how are you doing? <laughs> and Siri said, I'm fine, thanks. I'm not talking to you, Siri. I'm talking to her. What are you looking at? Oh, you're looking at what they're guessing? Yeah, cool. Okay. One minute per taco, they're saying. I have stickers, too. I'll give, I'll give you guys stickers. To I have them. a lot of the stickers. I've been putting them yeah. on everything. Is yeah. it easier if they write it in the comments? Because the chat's going by fast? I don't know if I'm making it hard. Who are you talking to? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> hire more people <laughs> well will you get the uh the everybody from the third floor down here to get look at the comments <laughs> who can we get from the third floor all right wow whatever can i just say that and we'll figure I, it out they we'll said my son out. tells me it's always better to interact with you and i'm in interacting with you uh some of you are there's two people that i've just seen go by that are stupid and you know who you are is that not good is that not good to interact with? As stupid? soon as she starts. I mean that in a lovely stop. way. I love that you're being part of this. I love that you're interacting with us, but you're stupid. <laughs> okay, you ready? Uh, yeah, can I get one extra can though? Is that okay? You gotta yes. go to the can again? No, 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 the soda. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't hear. As soon as she starts, I think the guesses should stop. Cause then it's like, oh, she's already eaten. Two no, I'm not gonna take answer. I get it. As soon as you, yes, you can't guess. So keep these guesses coming in because we're gonna look at these notes. But once she starts and we'll mark the time, uh, will you call the people in the time unit? <laughs> and, then and tell them that once she starts, mark that time. So any chat that comes in with the time aren't part of the contest. And then do you have we'll hot sauce? Up. What? We'll send did, did you guys up. get hot sauce? Yeah, thank you so much. I didn't that's order Andrea. hot sauce. I don't know if it came with it. Andrea, is your team, uh, that's Andrea that just came in. Oh, she's going back to her team. Fourth floor? Okay, she'll be on the fourth floor. Okay. Uh, Andrea? Uh, Are we ready? Yeah. 
Are you ready? I, I'm just wondering if there's hot sauce. I just don't know. If, yeah. What? what? Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know if they're going to be dry or not. So I want to dump hot sauce on it if I need to. It's eggs. Hot eggs sauce makes it dry. easier to eat. I like spicy. So I like. When you're spicy. eating like it's five pounds of spicy. I like spicy. <laughs> wow. I do spicy challenges too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you must have the most amazing Dutch oven. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Well, how am I supposed to? <laughs> Andrea from the fourth floor. You can just pour, you can do make a, a mess. Do you, have, do you have a bowl? <laughs> <laughs> do we have a bowl? You're making a lot of requests. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want it. I don't know how to use that. You don't know how to use it. You just pour it on. But I don't want to make Lotus, a mess. Like, Lotus, where did we get a thing of hot sauce like that? Lotus said, I did the math and 10 Taco Bell breakfast burritos is about the weight of a newborn baby. What is it? You're not uh, eating newborn babies. You're just eating... Talk burritos. But we know Speaking now if which, she can do it, then she I can just eat had a, newborn, a newborn granddaughter. Oh yeah, congrats. Yes. Woo. Go check her face out on my Instagram. She's so cute. She is. It's my first niece. Yes. And your daughter is gonna be the best babysitter ever. Mm -hmm. She's very excited. I'm very excited. How many a, kids do you have? I, uh, ooh. It's Jackie. You're one. Alex. Two. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Three, two, Jackie, Alex. Oh, you have Sarah. that many? Oh, I'm starting. Jackie, and. Can we get the third floor? The third floor. <laughs> um, okay, J Jackie and Alex. Riley. Three. <laughs> such a troll okay i'm a troll <laughs> <laughs> you're the one that's commenting <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a troll you're calling me a troll i have three kids and now i have three grandchildren congrats okay congrats yes our daughter my youngest daughter just gave birth the other day alex no are you alex thinking is about my son having any kids yeah alex are you going to give me any grandchildren andrea <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, now it's just getting uncomfortable. Sorry, sorry. I forget we're live. <laughs> yeah, you did forget yeah. we're live. I said I'm already pregnant. I already told your mom. Really? Are you pregnant with my son's baby? Yeah, he doesn't know it yet, but. What a way to find out on a live. Come to the mic. Come to the mic, <laughs> Is Andrea. Is that why you're wearing a puffy jacket? Come to the mic. My son impregnated this girl. We are finding out live. Live. What, actually? Are you just, yeah. That's a, what a way to find out. <laughs> really? Yes. So Alex, wow. Wow. Isn't that great? This Can is you the tell best. Look at his face, how excited he is. <laughs> Look at her face. Look how excited she is. He's looking at her like, what is the I what knew are you there doing? was a theme. I knew there was a theme. This was the. Oh, she brought in the burritos. This is the, the size of a baby. <laughs> She's. You were going to eat a baby. What a reveal. What a, it's a taco breakfast burrito reveal. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Alex wants to leave. Are you mad? No. He's just waiting. Well, aren't you excited? I will if it looks like me. I will leave. <laughs> Only if it looks like you. What are the chances this is legit? Uh, you guys, thank you for being here. I'm glad. Wow. I'm glad That's everybody so cool. is here. <laughs> what breaking news? <laughs> what? Alex should go to a mic. Alex, Alex should, should go, go to a mic. <laughs> he <laughs> okay. Okay. Check, check, check. All right. Oh, wait. Tana is on her way. Is Tana I, on her way? Tana? John Edward should be here and we should be meeting he's here? people on the other yeah, side. But I, you just keep talking. Okay. As oh, soon as she here? starts. Uh, okay. Then let's start. Let's as start. As soon as he starts, the guesses stop. So as soon as you hit on that button, mark. the mark. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, wait. Oh. She's not. Are you ready? Yeah, right ready. Now. Is he here? Are you using your timer? Uh, we'll use that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If he wants to, somebody can ask if he wants to sit in during this and before we start readings and get serious, he's welcome to do this, but then it's going to be whatever. What? Just go, Dad. John. Just go. Oh, if John is interested in sitting and watching this at the same time, because she'll leave after, and then we'll do readings with the guests and people, but he's welcome. He doesn't have to stay out. He's not allowed to guess. That's Are not you fair. being serious? <laughs> oh, yeah. Psychic yeah. guesses how many burritos. <laughs> no, how many minutes? How many minutes? Okay. Okay. 
On your mark. Wait, tell Alex to use the free hand cam again. Use the, use free, the free hand, hand cam, cam again. again. Didn't you guys get start this too. Didn't you guys get walkie-talkies for this reason so that you guys can just walkie-talkie to each other? The problem yes. is they did buy walkie-talkies so they can communicate, but they bought a walkie-talkie. They just bought one. And I was trying to explain to Alex you need two. Thank you, Mr. Rainbow Loves Coffee. As soon as I do this, I got to pull the camera off. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. You tell me when this goes to Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Go. I start right now? Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is all it right. not fair because they're all wrapped? Like, should we have unwrapped it? Oh, Lou's back. Lou? You can't guess anymore, guys. The guesses are done. The le oh, that's why they're still guessing. Yeah. We could okay. have a Lou moment. No, not right now. Not right now? No. No. I right feel now. like we should just focus okay. on... Okay, we won't even... Uh -oh. What? It's not coming off. Burritos. <laughs> no, 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 don't no, mess no, her up. No, no, no. Do not mess her up, Lou. Lou, don't. Don't touch her burritos. <laughs> don't. This is going really smoothly. What's going on? So did She's she already in. get one? Yeah. What's the time? What? If I take one, she'll never beat the record. Not she even will break a, a she'll break minute, a record. and she's it's already on number two. It's not a record. It's just uh, we're going to see how many, how long it takes her to finish this. It's exciting. It is. It is exciting. I was getting a headshot. You were I getting one. Headshots. You were taking a picture. I was getting new headshots. You could sit down for a second. I was taking. I was getting new headshots, and uh -huh. this time I was going to do it with makeup because I've seen what it does for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You always have your best material, Lou, when you're off, <laughs> off camera. What? It is a big box. Are we still on number two? Is there any music you can put in the background that's, uh, th that's uh, we don't want to pay for it? Ten. She's going to eat ten. <laughs> <laughs> and she is, she's been 130. No, 140. And she she's on number three. She doesn't talk much, does she? <laughs> I said the We're last just time. Keep I, I said the last time. Can you imagine if this was like a a date? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're saying someone unwrapped them for her. I feel like we should have unwrapped them. Like it's gonna take really? up at least ten seconds. That's your biggest unwrapping. problem is that they're not that they're wrapped. <laughs> 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 Woo! We blew it. <laughs> Can we I, stop? Can we not do the music? <laughs> why? I like it. It's good, right? The music with it. Yeah. She yeah, said, she yeah. likes the music. Okay. It just keeps her going. The music is our theme music. They're asking, what yeah. is it? And My why would husband you say made it. My husband made the music. <laughs> and you said, please stop please it. Please stop it. <laughs> so ladylike. How many has she uh, finished? I can't see. I don't know. I'm not on a good angle. No. Guys in the back, do you know how many she's had? How many wrappers are there? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six burritos left. So she's had four. four. She's had four burritos already. Wow. This in is amazing. Almost three minutes. They're starving kids in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always bring up the, <laughs> the negative I side? did see a comment about that like uh, <laughs> before, that it's such a weird sport to have when there's so many starving people all over the world. Oh, don't listen. <laughs> no? They're saying this is so unhinged, please stop the music. <laughs> <laughs> the music's too loud. Oh, all of a sudden, everybody, you're all producers. <laughs> the you music's go, too girl. loud. What do you want to hear, the chewing? Is that what you want to hear? Mm. I'll, I'll make the sound effects. I'll do the sound effects. You do the, you do the, well. no, no. Uh, this is your royalty for your music. Oh yeah. They look, yeah, they know what they're doing. We have a lot of but people back so. there. I think the dog wants it. Thank you, Ricky T. He says, get Zach Lewis to write us some music. My husband does it for a living. That's disgusting, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> there hasn't been any jumping yet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, 
This gives me so much anxiety. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Because the feeling of being that full, I think I just feel it, and it gives me anxiety. I like doing the sound effect. <laughs> I'm dubbing the eating. It's good. <laughs> They're saying, please stop. Howie, yes. Howie, please. <laughs> Howie, please stop. It's so realistic. <laughs> it is. I'm going to do more. I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to listen to you. You're the throat goat. <laughs> I'm the throat goat? Yeah, who's calling me? I don't know. <laughs> this is worse than the prolapse they're saying. <laughs> People are leaving. <laughs> Five minutes and 20 seconds. What is the record? What is the record? We, I don't know the record. We're just seeing how many she could, or no, how much time it takes her to eat 10. Oh. Oh, she's creating I have zero control over my dad. My name may be on this podcast now, but I, I have zero control over him. It's so gross. It's <laughs> so gross. Throat goat. <laughs> I wonder why she doesn't have to like make room this time. Like it's with the um dump ew. <laughs> well, it is a with the dumplings. Burrito. There was a lot of movement and jump jumping. Yeah. This seems a lot more leisurely. This is easier. There's yeah. not that many left. There's only three left. I don't think she's eaten since the dumplings. What? No, oh. she has. I follow her. She's oh. eaten a lot. Oh. Yeah, she just went to the bathroom right before this. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Mr. Rainbow Love paid oh. you $5 to knock it off, Dad. <laughs> For five bucks? For five bucks, he said knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> five dollars is five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> how many are left, Alex? He didn't say for how long to knock it. Three off, left. So yes, I'll do the last. That means one. she's done seven already. Yes. In five minutes. Right. Is this also on in the lobby? Seven. Seven minutes. Seven and seven minutes. So we're averaging one burrito a minute. I think so. We're airing it live at Taco Bell. Though. I don't know if there was a record for most how fast you can eat 10 burritos. Uh, John Edward is here. Can you follow this up? I don't know if you can follow this up. If she finishes all these and yeah. then drops dead, we could still talk to her. Yeah. That's not funny. That's not <laughs> She's slowing down. Saying. I'm doing no it again. pressure, though. No pressure. No pressure. You can do this. You got this. There's enough people I are believe going, in you. I lost. People are going, I lost. I, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people said five minutes. That's why. This is crazy. You're amazing. Oh, she's a big. Oh, my God. Oh. Wait. Oh. What? Started again. Oh. Okay, two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. We're at eight minutes and 15 seconds. Oh, she's wearing a bustier. That's a bustier. Hey, buddy. Her Ow. mouth is Lou. here. Her mouth is Lou. up here. <laughs> Lou's looking at the wrong. You got $9.99 to keep going, oh, Dad. Oh, she Dad, does, she keep did. going with your sound effects for oh, yeah. $9.99. Oh, 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 I'm going. Oh, oh. Dad. Okay. Rick, for $10, says keep the noises going, Dad. $10. Keep them going. Oh. <laughs> Was oh, that a double? She's doing a double. <laughs> yeah, that's two. two. It's the last two. Oh my She's god. She's doing a double. She's, doing a double. She's double fisting. I that's think she has. Stop to... that! You're my daughter. You don't talk like that in front of your father. I don't want to hear. How many times have I told Dad, you? Dad, no? ten dollars okay. for those sounds. <laughs> no double fisting jokes in front of you. Oh, Do you think oh, this turns twist. people on? Yeah. Do you think this turns these guys off? Yeah. <laughs> Is this a fetish? 
They're saying Rick, what the fuck? Because he paid ten dollars for the sounds. People paid for this, and I'll do what I'm paid to do. <laughs> John Edward must be so happy he's that back he there. Me. Are you happy? He walked you, out look already. Look what you're following. <laughs> he walked out. <laughs> He's wearing a mask so he can puke in it without... <laughs> can she do it in 10 minutes? We have five seconds. We have five. No. What? No, she can't do it in 10 minutes. Uh, five more seconds to 10 minutes. $19. Oh, oh, for, to do what? To stop it. Okay. Stop. Stop, Dad. 19, no more sounds. 19, With peace and love from Iron Sam. $19. Tw- $19.99. To stop it. A sale. <laughs> what? When she raises her hand, that means stop it. I'm going to leave it up to her when she raises her hand. <coughs> oh, wonderful. Disgusting, Lou. <laughs> Lou, you don't do that. No, anymore. I did that because I'm watching. Somebody's eating here. No, that's true. <laughs> that is so true. All right. All Almost right. there. We'll be back up. We are. We are. We're, We're back, back up. Howie, We're, We're back. back up, Dad. We're back. <laughs> Dad, where did you go? <laughs> it cut out right at the end. Did they even see the end? Did you guys even see the end? It was frozen right before the end. Right before? Yeah. No way. You know what? What? Well, that's so funny. It'll be posted later. Are we on? Check it'll, it out. What? It'll be posted later, and they should check it out. Wait, it won't be posted with the freeze though, right? It's posted, does it post with the freeze or will they see it when they They didn't posted? see the end? No, it cut out right at the end. What was the time? There. It's right there, 11, 11, 21. So 11, 21, 11 and what you missed is we presented her with a uh, Taco Bell gift card. And this is for, I think 10 free breakfast burritos. Yay. <laughs> So Wait, that, do what? we know how do you, and you guys are going to go back and see who got who Yeah, got we close. can we can clip it. We got it. Okay, cool. And you're going to go back, you're going to see who won who won something. We're going to look at that and we will post in one of our shorts the end of it, right? 
We will post it so you'll yes, be able to see the end of it. But that, but we're up and live again. And thank you to everybody. Uh, uh, Yaakov and his team on the sixth floor for getting us back on the stream again. Yaakov thank you. <laughs> on the sixth floor. Um, we should, uh, uh, we're going to have John Edward in. Now. Okay. He, he actually showed up. I don't know if Tana showed up, but he showed up. <laughs> okay. And uh, we're going to talk to uh, ghosts. Okay. On the other side. So I'm getting kicked out. <laughs> no, you don't have to if you want to stay. Do you believe in ghosts? Do you want to got the same answer to an extent, yeah. Well, that's not enough. You keep asking everyone the same question over and over again, Dan. Do you guys love me? <laughs> Do you guys love me? <laughs> Do you guys love me? Nobody's answering. Probably. Maybe not. Maybe Happy Raina. birthday to Olivia. Is it his daughter's birthday? It's his daughter's birthday? And you're here? And she's here? No, and John's here and he's not celebrating with his daughter? He is. He brought his daughter. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, that's cool. Well, thank you so much for coming. Okay. And <laughs> uh, you were amazing. Thank and we'll you. see you again on another live. We'll do another challenge. We'll yeah, keep sure. doing challenges. People you should are so recommend amazing. challenges to us. Like yeah, what recommend they challenges. See. If you, uh, you know, if you have an idea, We'll do it. Okay. And anytime you want me to be part of one of your challenges, I would love to do that. Like on your Instagram or really? TikTok. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ricky said we love mm. you to an extent. Okay. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Thank okay. you. Yeah, of course. You know what they can do actually? Um, you know how oh, thank you, Rainbow Loves Coffee. I love you, Howie. You're amazing. Okay. And he gave you money. <laughs> so I really love and you. And I really love oh. you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank um, you, Raina. Okay. But the, the, what's it called? The application where they sent in to John Edward, it's not just, oh my gosh. What? For Raina, Bella just gave you some money. Who? Bella. Oh, thank you, Bella. For, oh. Thank you. She loves you, it was for you. Oh, thank you so much. I oh, you. oh, you're so nice. <laughs> but um, the application where people submitted to be read by John Edward, that's up all the time, not for readings. If they want to submit like different challenges for Raina, they can go submit there. Where Where's oh, that it's link? It's the contact form on HowieMandel.com. Oh, yeah. Contact. We'll pull it up right now. Okay. John, so if you go to HowieMandel.com, then John, come you on can in. submit anything. If you is, have is a Olivia challenge. Is Olivia coming in too? Yeah, she can come and sit right there. Do you want me to move? No, no. you'll sit beside Olivia. Okay. So if you have a challenge or anything for Raina, if you have any I suggestions, do you can always submit there. In. I like, want to come play and here. Like, what? I want to play here all day long with us. This is the coolest thing. Olivia was doing it. She was in the box. So. Yeah, so wait till you see. So, so here, Olivia, you can sit beside Jackie. <sighs> Olivia's on a show now, right? She was. Oh. She just rapped. You just yeah. rapped? Yeah. What show? Better Things. Better Things. Hi. 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 Are you, off. you can. Yeah. I don't want, I want to want you to be uncomfortable. You can hang on there. Go, go in, in, yeah, yeah. in there, in the control room. John Edward, Woo! who, you know, when I watched the other episode, I put that S on so many times and you, are you just tired of correcting people? I don't even hear it. You don't hear the S. I love that I use an S, he doesn't hear it, but he can hear dead people. He can't hear an S, but he can hear dead people. But I think you, Jackie, right, didn't you correct him? You were like D, Edward D, right? Yes, I corrected him, I think, twice. But there were a lot more S's. There's so many, there's so many people that, I think it just sounds naturally to add the S, so people do it. Well, wasn't that, uh, wasn't that the guy who ran? Was Didn't the he, senator. Yeah, yeah the senator. John Edwards, S for senator. John yeah, Edward D for that's why they know. What do you? Uh, uh, I just want to let in your face here and lower this. Olivia. Can I have a drink too? Is it, do you need a drink or anything, you guys? I'm good. Oh, good. Olivia, it's your birthday? It is my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Give her, give her, give her a talk. Two. Oh, you want to talk about gift cards? Yeah, it's her birthday. We didn't what? know it was her birthday. What? Oh, yeah, the, the, Andrea's here. Andrea yeah. just announced she's pregnant with my son's baby. Oh, congratulations. Oh, congratulations. I didn't know <laughs> I have one of those. What? Yeah. One that looks nothing like me. Oh, okay. My, my son was a clone of my wife. An accelerator or is it your birthday? Whatever. How old are you? I'm Whatever. 17. 17. Congratulations. Thank and you. give her, and for your birthday, happy birthday. Oh, you can get you. 10 taco <laughs> breakfast burritos. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you can Mr. get those. Mr. Rainbow anytime. Loves Coffee said, Tell John Edward I love him on Will and Grace's show. Oh, wow. That's a long time ago. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, you could see what people are saying right here if you want to. Oh, I won't be looking. <laughs> you, you won't, won't be, be looking. You won't no. be lo what people are saying? No, absolutely not. Why? You think because no. then it gives you... He doesn't want to talk to anybody that's writing him, that's speaking to him in the <laughs> no, room. No, I will if listen. you want to speak to him, die. <laughs> no, no, no. I think we always have to protect the integrity of the experience. So if somebody says information here and I want to, you pull them up or I read them somewhere, then it's Thank suspect. You. So Well, I have to say, this is what I have to say. Uh, Are we on? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. live. This is it's live. live. You said you wanted to do it live. I did. I love okay. Live. okay, so this is live. So what you, you know... First of all, you're one of our most popular episodes and go check it out because it is amazing. But the truth of the matter is we record these, usually we don't do a live, we recorded this episode. Um, you read a young lady named Jan before who I didn't know what you were saying. And then afterwards she kind of explained like, how would you know? How would you know this? Right. And it just blew up. And listen, we all wanna believe because it would be better if it is true. I believe it is true. Right. W what was amazing to me is not as much. Most people just love it, but how much kickback there is where they think, I can't imagine what you go through or maybe you don't read the trolls. But no, people I think, listen, I think that when you do this as long as I've been doing it, it's now been 38 years, 37 and a half, 38 years, 1985, do the math. That's how long I've been doing this. So you, I've come, I've come from a place in time where it wasn't out there. It wasn't natural and normal. When people did this, there were trailblazers that were like George Anderson and Char Margolis and Suzanne Northrup, who were before me, who were out there doing appearances, teaching people about the subject matter, and they would catch hate for it. So I watched what they went through, and then that allowed me the opportunity that when I came on the scene to be able to say, okay, well, I need to protect the integrity and the ethics of the experience. But I also understand where I came from. And where I came from was being the son of a police officer and a career military guy who did not believe in the subject matter, who made fun of my mom and my grandmother, who put it all down. So I didn't really believe that this was legitimate. I had no interest in it until I had a reading. So once you have no information and then you get information and that information is factual, and there's no way that that person could know that. So the woman who read for me could not know what she knew, could not know what was coming up for me because I didn't know it. That now gave credence to the other things that she said. So my open-minded but always skeptical perspective applied it to my own experiences. Then I lost an uncle in 1987 and my mom passed in 1989. And I think like anybody that's watching this, if you have a person who passes, you go through a feeling of loss and grief and is there something else? Some people rely on their faith. Some people abandon their faith. Some people get support from loved ones. A lot of people that are listening right now, if you, you already know this, you have people who abandon you at your darkest moment, but the universe sent other energies in to kind of help and support you. So grief is a really real thing. I can only tell people what my experiences has been. And in my experience, doing readings for other people, seeing the validity, bringing through validations, information, evidence, factual things, helps to support that there's an afterlife and that helped me on my journey. And that's what my journey is with people. But because I know where I came from, I absolutely respect. So for those that are watching that are, you know, the keyboard warriors who want to be like, you've got the biggest douche in the universe on. Yeah, you do. And I'll be the biggest that's douche. That's a South Park reference. Yeah, yeah, but I'll be the biggest douche for as many people as you need me to be because I can help others. So if that's going to raise awareness, I got a thick skin. And, and as somebody who has been in the room. I know that you have no connection to that person you were talking to. I know, I found things out after you said it, because I'm the only one that you're talking to, like you, uh, I remember on the last First one. First of all, I didn't even know that I was doing a reading the last <laughs> the last time I was here. No. That was a little bit of a surprise. I was kind of like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this But I this found now. things out <laughs> after you were here. So he said, I see uh, pink roses or whatever. I can't remember exactly That's what you symbol. said. Yeah. You know, I see pink roses, but here's here's the thing. That, that was, her father had just died weeks before. She had ordered the flowers for the funeral for the coffin. He loved red roses. For whatever reason, they delivered two dozen pink roses. Like, how would you know that? That is not something that can be Googled. That's not something I knew, so I could have shared it with you and it would have looked great. So I'm saying when you get that specific, right? and this but is something- But here's okay. the downside of being that specific. Is they don't know. Right. 
So the downside of being very, very specific and, and pushing the envelope and sticking to the information. And I, I always go back to this one woman many, many years ago. She came for a private reading and I brought through her husband and she said to me, no. And I'm like, no, you have a, and I get things in placement. So like, if you think about somebody above you, it's anybody who's older. So to your side would be a contemporary and below is younger. So it gives me the opportunity instead of going, I've got a man here, I can at least try to place it you know, so I was like, no, this guy's telling me he's like a husband or a brother. I go, but I think he's a husband. I go, he's telling me he's passed. So I get all this information about the husband who passed. She doesn't want to hear it. She wants to hear from her mother. So everything she's saying is no, 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 no. And then I, I said it again and she slammed her hand on my desk and she goes, listen, that SOB should be passed. I have two grown daughters with him. If he had passed, we would know, move on. And I just remember going like, okay. But to this woman's credit, and whoever you are out there, I remember your mother's name, it was Rafaela. I always give credit where credit's due. I can't remember her name, but I remember well, her dead mother's name. Um, she was from Brooklyn and she wrote me a letter. And I remember standing in my kitchen, reading the letter and her apologizing to me, saying, you were right, I did not know that he had passed. And in that moment, I didn't go, oh my God, that's amazing. I literally, I, I was like crestfallen. I went, oh my God, how many other messages did I mess up because I didn't have the tenacity to say, no, no, I'm getting this. So now when I read for somebody, I'll have somebody say to me, no, all the time. I'll just do, do me a favor, write that down or go prove me wrong or go look, go look and see if I'm crazy. And then sometimes they don't know it yet, but everybody wants to hear from a person. Somebody might connect with us today. They might want to hear from one person. I might connect with three other people and not that one person. If you've lost a loved one and you're dreaming of one person, but you really want to dream about the other person, that doesn't mean that they're not okay. So my goal is always to raise awareness and teach about energy and have people process it in whatever way that they can. But I'll say this as I always do, nobody needs a reading. What they need is an understanding and that understanding helps them navigate grief. Well, you're gonna help us understand today. Olivia, having John be your father, is that yeah. what, it, how, how is Can't that? get away with anything <laughs> at all, ever. Because, <laughs> because. Because he, well, because yeah, he's gonna, I mean, beside him, no. I mean, it's. Well, that's not entirely true. That's, I'm going to call you out on a live podcast. No, my daughter announced this to me like about a, what, two weeks ago? Yeah. Oh, and that's so true. I, I wrote a, yeah. I wrote a screenplay. Mm -hmm. I said, you did a what? She's like, I wrote a screenplay. I go, you, you like today? And she's like, no, I've been working on it all year. I'm like, and just now you're announcing? She's like, well, I just wanted to get it done first. So she was able to keep that in the wraps. I go to, That's true. I go to, That's I, true. I go to my wife, Sandra. I'm like, did you know she was writing a screenplay? And she was but like, the thing is, I, I was saying to somebody, because I said, uh, as I was driving in here, I was live on, on TikTok and then I got thrown off because apparently you're not supposed to do that while you're driving. But anyway, I was saying to somebody and they go, ask him the future, ask him how good this podcast is going to do. And I said, well, I don't know that he's- uh, He is. It, oh, you could tell the future? Yeah. That's oh. how I started. So like when I started doing this work- So you knew your episode was going to be number one? Was it number one? It, I it don't. Was it was it's really good. Close. It's yeah. really. It's doing really well. Oh, that's cool. Well, yeah. that's huge. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're really excited. But but as a kid growing up, when you know, you know, as a little kid, it's normal to be uh, afraid of ghosts, seeing ghost stories. Do you have no? You have no, and never had any fear of anybody on you the had, other side. But you had the beers. I had the. No, I did have the beers. I was beers. Apparently, Watch. she's seventeen. When I was <laughs> when I was two years old. I would, I didn't like sleeping in my room because I just didn't. And then I would tell my parents and they're like, why can't you just sleep in your room? You know, you're young. They'd be like, well, cause of the, I'd say, cause of the, like the beers. I don't like the beers. I'm scared of the beers. And they were like, okay. They just assumed I was, I, I wanted to sleep with them in their room cause it was more fun and whatever. Um, and then Shar, who is a psychic friend of ours. She's like your spiritual godmother. Yeah, she, seriously, like my spiritual godmother. She stayed over and they're like, oh, you can stay. That's Shar Margolis. Yeah, Shar Margolis. Okay. She stayed over and they're like, you can just sleep in Olivia's room. She never sleeps in there anyways. She went, okay. So sleeps over. Next morning, she goes up to my parents. She's like, hey, how's, how's everything? Goes, yeah, it's great. How did you sleep? She goes, um, not well. I actually want to know if I can change rooms. And like, okay, why? Is there something like, are there like a lot of dolls in there or something that's like weird? She's like, no, no. Um, have you not noticed the huge bear in the room all the, all the time? And, and I like, think stuffed bear, because it was a big stuffed bear yeah. that we had when I, my son was born, Larry King, sent us a huge stuffed bear that's like living in her room. So I was like, you mean the stuffed animal? We can move it. And she was like, no, no, like actual bears. Like she has a 
spirit guide as like a bear and it's in her room all the time. Did, has she not been talking to you about that or anything? And they <laughs> Sandra put and I had the moment <laughs> where we're like, oh, the beers. Bears. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You, we had a similar thing to her. I have, the, I've told that story before. You know, we had a, we were in, um, when she was not even two, she used to cry at night and, and I used to go into her room and she used to go, the man, the man, the man, the man, you know, and I used to go, what? And she'd be pointing at the closet. She was in a crib and I go, there's no man. And you know, it's just, I thought it was normal that, you know, some kid gets scared. You hear something just like you thought it was, you don't, you don't give it any thought. And then um, we had a uh, an extra. Uh, uh, I think it was one of our house. Was it one of our housekeepers that went a and nanny. stayed? In, a nanny stayed in that room. She came in to sleep in our room. Stayed in that room, and the nanny said to us, "Do you believe in ghosts?" At that time, I said no. Why? And she goes, "Because there is a man in that room that stands in the closet." And, I, and that like freaked me out and I wanted to sell the house because I thought the house was haunted. <laughs> and then she was a baby, she was just two. I went, I, I, we went to my mother-in-law's house and I'm carrying her down the hall. My mother-in-law's a painter. She had painted this man with a beard. And as soon as she passed the picture, she went, that's the man. And she had said the man with the beard. The nanny who hadn't talked to her said the man with the beard. So I'd rather have a man with a beard than bears. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Anyway, I want to do some readings. So, okay. Rich, if you could set up the, the first one. A lot of listeners have uh, written in, and we have a couple people here are going to. No, no, no. no. So, so, so uh, yes. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is I work with a company called Proto, which is a uh, hologram company, and they have the ability to beam somebody in. It's like uh, FaceTime on steroids. steroids. And uh, so if I could just say, like, I've, I've seen it, I've witnessed this, the, the proto hologram where you can like beam yourself there before I, I came in this room, cause there was a whole eating thing happening. I was like, <laughs> let me not be a part of that. I went out over there and we were watching the, the proto thing. Olivia got in it. I filmed her in it. Yeah. So we have so her. Cool. Yep, on her 17th birthday, Freaky Friday-ing herself. And <laughs> it's it's yep. amazing, it's isn't so it? Cool. I'll post it later, we'll post it on Facebook and everywhere and, yeah. and tag you guys in well, it. Well, this is, I love this, I got involved with this technology because I, I, you know, I'm a germaphobe and I, uh, I would like to be everywhere without going anywhere. So we have the- Just, you know, right now, my cousin Katrina, who's watching this, literally just went to the place and said, my cousin has you beat. What? Being, my cousin has you beat being a germaphobe. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Your cousin said that? Yeah, she's watching. I know she's watching. And I know she out loud. She's alive, that. right? She's alive. Yeah. But you can hear her? Are you being... No, I being... just know her so well. <laughs> like, I can guarantee you if, if I... Here, but let's phone her. Not everything is because he's a medium. Oh, Sometimes I, he just you know, knows I just his family. Know this, so I just like <laughs> know her. Is she, uh, oh, I don't God. know that she has me beat. I am very, very... Uh, any of the uh, Evolve Plus TV people yeah. are going, yeah, he does. Just let me know when the proto's hooked up and she, she has the ability to hear us. It's not a competition us. to see no, who has the, 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 the she, worst Can OTD. she hear us? The, yeah, I'm waiting a minute. You'll just let me know when, it, you'll let me know when it's hooked up. This is the, so cool. Uh, yeah, it is. But when it's hooked up and she can hear us, then yeah, she can hear us now. And, uh, yeah. and she should be looking at the camera. So she's look, look at the, yeah, that's where you need to look. John okay. will need headphones. Pardon me? John, John will need, need headphones. headphones. John, you if need you headphones. If you want to hear Yeah, you'll, her. you'll hear her. Okay, so this is uh, Tracy who is beaming in. Do not know any. I don't know. Uh, uh, well, you could talk to her. Tell her. What Hi, Tracy. Oh. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm really, really good. This is... Okay, so first of all, I'm like, a, like, I love technology. Like, I remember sitting on an airplane a long, long time ago, and I turned to my cousin Katrina, and I said, I'm very excited about something. And she said, what? I go, there's going to be a device. It's going to be like this big, and we could like watch movies and TV and do all this kind of, read books. And she looked at me and went, okay. And it was years before, like, there was like an iPad, right? So like, I'm like that guy. I love this. Like, I think that what this is right now is- This like, also cool. comes, you can have this on your <laughs> desk too. There's small ones. Yeah, th th this is cool. Like, Katrina, if you're watching, and I can incorporate this in like reading somehow, like- and then the office, this would be really, really cool. Um, Tracy, have you ever had a reading done before? I have. Okay, what kind I of- I believe in this and I- well, That's great, what kind of readings have you had? Like what types of readings? Medium. Okay. I did psychic years and years ago, but I've gone to two different mediums. So the- Well, this is a large. <laughs> 
that's been a fat reference. I know, I'm excited. <laughs> so is is there, did you have a reading recently? And there's a reason why I'm asking, because I like to educate while no. we do that. Okay, oh. perfect. So the first no. thing that I tell people is that if anybody's ever had a reading recently and they go for another mediumship reading, think about it as a phone conversation. So your person may come through and may not pick up and they might not give me information that it is that I'm looking for. So I want you to think about any anybody that's that's passed. And if I don't get the person that you're hoping for, I'll answer whatever questions that you might have. Um, the first thing I'm gonna tell you, I don't know if your dad's passed, Tracy, but I feel like I have to acknowledge an older male that's passed. That to me would be like father. So think the male figure above you. I want you to know that they're showing me that there's a connection to either 12, that to me means either December the 12th month or the 12th of a month, having some type of meaning birthday or anniversary. And he has a woman that's with him that I would see as being like a sister. So now that to me would be like either on his level, you have a mom that's passed, a mother-in-law that's passed, or an aunt. Think on the same same level. Somebody passed from sepsis or they had some type of like, I don't know, it feels like everything in my body shutting down. So it's like a multiple organ system shut down. And then they're telling me to talk about your teeth, something that has to do with your teeth. So I don't know if you're in the process like now or going through having things done where you decided you want Invisalign or you decided that you're having some type of dental stuff, but there's a whole conversation about working on your mouth and working on your teeth or doing something within that. Is that, is that, but that doesn't feel like in the past, it feels like it's a, a current thing. Yeah. What does that mean? No, I'm not doing anything with my teeth. That, I mean, I did Invisalign years ago. Right, um, so you, you just I'd, had a conversation. Okay, so one of the things that I am a little bit when I read, is I will yeah. always be firm with what's coming in. So I know that you might okay. be wanting to hear like what would be considered, oh my God, they're with you and they love you. And then you get emotional. That's not my job. My job is to make you yeah. think about what's coming through. So let's just go over factually what I said. There's a father figure who has passed for you? Yes. Okay, and with him on a contemporary level would be like a sister figure, an aunt for you, a mom level, correct? Uh. I'm not Maybe. asking if you, uh, no, no, no. What? I'm not asking if you like her or if you want to hear from her. I'm oh, yeah. asking if it's factual. There, yes, I guess, yes. No, 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 yes, I guess. You either <laughs> have it or you don't. See, I'm the medium who doesn't care what the client wants. I'm the medium who gives you what yeah. you need. So your dad is telling me he has a woman that's with him. That means it's to his side. That is a contemporary. So if your dad and has- And it's a, someone on his side. It's so, to, okay. no, no, no. To his side to me means a contemporary. Husband, wife, brother, sister, cousin, friend will be a contemporary. So he's letting me know that there's a woman that's with him okay. on his level, okay. right? So factually, yes or no? Yes. Okay, now I want everybody to notice how you answered that statement. What, do you, what am I what? supposed to notice? She noticed, I want people to hear what she's saying. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I don't really care. Because in okay. my mind, I'm trying to figure out, I have someone else that I I think, you also said like a mother. Yeah. And I, and so for me, it was a little confusing because no, I have- No, it's not confusing. Here's what's happening. Okay. I'm, well, I'm trying repeat. to figure out which person, I guess, is who it is. You're is trying to I'm figure thinking. it out. Yes, I'm, I am. I'm already telling you where it's going. Your okay. dad has passed, yes? Yes. Right. And now I'm telling you on the same level as your dad, I would see that as being the mother level. So that to me is your mother, your aunt, your mother-in-law, somebody who would be on the same level as your mom, right? It's an aunt who has passed. Right. So whether she's biological or not, it doesn't change the placement for me. There's a- Can I just ask you No, no, wait, let me say it all again. Wait, 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 because okay. I'm gonna get accused of like asking leading questions, so okay. I wanna make sure that I'm making statements. There is a 12th right. connection to you, which means either the month of December or the 12th of a month is a birthday or anniversary. Somebody had sepsis. Somebody had some type of multi-organ system shutdown. And there is absolutely a current conversation about something oral or something happening within the mouth area, meaning someone going for Invisalign, somebody going to have something done with their teeth, somebody having crowns done, something that is not like it happened, but more of a conversation where they could say, hey, I see what's happening. So I wanna just stick within how that's coming across. Now, okay. who's the woman figure? Because I wanna know where she goes. That's what I'm wondering, whether it's my dad's sister, who's an aunt who I was not as close with, right. or I was told about my mother's mother, who is my grandmother. So I'm gonna say was, it's not her. I'm gonna say it's not her. I'll okay. tell you why it's not her. Okay. So above you would be one level for me, that would be parents. And then above right. that level, I would see your grandparents. So I'm gonna put it connected, okay. to, your, connected to your dad. Okay. Is there somebody that worked in insurance, or did somebody work in any type of adjustments? Did, did somebody deal with anything that would be insurance related? No. Okay, I'm looking at assessments and like property insurance, and I'm looking at conversations about insurance or somebody working with insurance. Um, and there's a B name around you. Who, who's, who's the B connection to you, Tracy? 
Did you say V or B? B as in like Bobby or boy. I, I this isn't resonating. I don't know anything with insurance. Somebody um, somebody worked in insurance, or they 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 worked as an assess. There's something about talking about insurance or assessing. There. Did you come with anybody else? No. Who who else is here that you want me to read, Howie? Uh, there's a, you want her name? No, I just want to know if I'm getting their family because I know what they're showing they're me. They're listening in the back, right? Can they hear in the back or no? It's coming through possibly for Wendy who's having oral implants done. I oh. Who's the insurance person? And there's somebody B? Well, hold on. That's the other person that's being read. It's Dr. Bina with a B. And what's the insurance reference? The insurance reference. There's an insurance issue. She ran out of her insurance, and so she's stuck having to wait till next Here, year. let her come where you oh, are. Let her come Wendy. where you are. Let her come where you are. Wendy, just come to here. Don't worry about that. Go to that mic. Okay. Now, was this somebody that wanted to be right today? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't want to attack read anybody, unfortunately. Give her a little seat. She can sit there, too. So we'll, both of them are here. And ma Ma'am, is your dad passed, too? Yes. What's the insurance reference? Um, I ran out of insurance for, and and I can't finish my teeth until next year when it starts again. Okay, so what's the reference to somebody like turning septic or having- My husband. Okay, and he passed? Yes. Okay, so then that means that the 12th of a month or the 12th month December is gonna be connected to you as well, usually birthday or anniversary. And then connected to your dad, there would be the same thing I said to the my first woman. My dad's birthday was December. Okay, and then the woman that would be connected to your dad would be the sister or your mom, there's a mother-in-law, it's the same. My mom's passed as well. Okay, so before your mom passed, was there a disconnect in the energy? Like, did you not have the opportunity to see her, talk to her, or connect with her? Oh my God, I, I missed it okay. by an hour. Okay, so you were either stuck in traffic or stuck at appointment or stuck in something that you couldn't be there, yes? Yes, okay, and you're one of three kids? Yes. Okay, and out of the three kids, two are similar and one is different, and somebody's an Aquarian like my daughter where there's a birthday, correct? Yes. Okay, and then they lost a son or a younger male as well, or somebody here lost a son. My, um my mother did. Okay, so your brother is with them because they tell me to talk about the son. And then there was a chromosomal genetic defect, correct? Oh my God, yes. Okay, because they're making me feel like I need to acknowledge the chromosomal genetic defect. And then they say, they, they, they're telling me to tell you Jason? Jackson? Jason. Jace, 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 or Jaden. Like, somebody's got a connection to either J, it sounds like Jace, Jason, Jace, Jace. I want to say Jason, but I want to stop myself, like Jace. So maybe somebody goes by a name that sounds like Chase, or they sound, it sounds like Jace. I don't know. I have to think on that one. And that's not for you, right, Tracy? Actually, no. we're not pulling you in. Well, Tracy's just got like some <laughs> negative yucky energy. Just to be really, really clear. <laughs> like, let me just be really, really clear. Like, I have to swim in that pool, and if you want me to do that, that's got to go away. Um, <laughs> which energy... I earned my title to the biggest yeah. douche. Um, <laughs> so there's a reference for you, Wendy. I need to talk about the keyboard and the piano. So do you know why your- My you're... husband played the keyboard and the piano. Okay, but did you sit down and try to play it? Oh, always. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so do you have the one that you can record the stuff on it? No. So I wanna talk about what would be the recording, the audio recording, or keeping something that was recorded. Okay, yes. Okay. Yes. Do you want me to tell nope. you? As long as you understand that they can debrief you, right? And just to be clear for everybody watching, we don't know each other, right? I've never met you in my life. Okay. I didn't even see you walk in. Okay. Um, I, I, I want you to know that one of the things that's important about information coming through, validation coming through, evidence being shown, it is to show you that there's a survival of consciousness, that life and love are eternal, that they're with you. But most importantly, that we're still here in the school of life and there are lessons that we're learning and you're feeling stuck you're feeling like you're stuck in a certain place and you're feeling like, how did I get left here? You're feeling isolated, you're feeling orphaned, you're feeling alone, right? So one of the things I want people to know, and I know this is hard, I, I want you to know that you're not alone, you have a good support structure and you're concerned about relationships with kids. So I don't know if you're concerned about working on your own relationship with kids, but everything goes back to communication, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I wrote a book called Infinite Quest and I'm, my daughter's sitting here, I wrote it for my kids. It was the 
how to develop your psychic abilities not to do readings, but to learn about energy kind of book. And I, in, the, in it, I talk about how we, how we should learn our, our breed, right? Each person we meet is a breed. So if I said, oh, this person's a Chihuahua, you immediately get an idea of who the person is. This person is a Great Dane, you get an idea of who the person is. So from an energy standpoint, if we look at someone's astrological chart, right? Even like the big three, which I'm not an astrologer, but I pay attention to it, their sun sign, their moon sign, and their ascendant. If folks look at that, they can get an idea of how to communicate with the people that are in their lives and understand maybe what's like happening, like what's happening around them. Now, did you say your husband's passed? Yes. Okay, so you either marry twice, or I'm supposed to talk about the second marriage or renewing of the vows, because I'm seeing interlocking wedding bands. So what's the, what's the interlocking wedding bands? I, my only marriage. So he's telling me to talk about interlocking wedding bands. That only means two things to me. It means that somebody was either married previously, right? Or there was a renewal of vows in some way. He was married before. Okay. And then if I said to you, Adam or Adele or a name with an A, where is that connected to him or you? I have a niece. Adam, Adele? Uh, uh, Amanda. Um, um, nope. I hear the D, but I hear the vowel and then the D. So think like Adele, Adam. I want to put it around your husband. So if he has the friend that's passed or if he's connected to somebody that's... Oh. Uh, Adele, and remember, there's a remember there's the, the the there was a person that died. They they fell off a bridge or they fell off a building. Somebody fell off of something. I fall off. The time. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. This is a big fall. Oh, um, this is a really really big fall. Off a bridge. Yeah. Somebody either had a. Somebody either, they either jumped from something or, somebody fell. This is a high fall. It's a high to low fall. Could that be? Mentally? Nope. This would be somebody who had a, they either jumped and passed, they fell off a building, they were in a small plane crash, high to low, something that's high to low. Tracy, not for you? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> maybe, I have a question. Does she have a teeth thing going on? Maybe you're just. Did you not hear her? Off. Yeah, she's got that. And she had the insurance oh, thing. I guess I can't. Okay. Okay. I that makes a lot of sense the, why I was confused. Okay. The ch a is name, it, I do know where it's connected to me. Okay. Because is it like I, Chase or Jace? It's Chaid. Uh, yeah, that's not, I'm not going to get that. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it is the C H A. Because, uh, 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 do I tell you? Nope. As long as you as long as you get it, you can tell me later. Yeah. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm not bringing somebody else that's here into this, but somebody feels like they passed because of a fall, like they passed because it was a high to low fall. So that to me would be somebody who either jumped. Oh. This is not a minor fall. This is a big fall. This isn't like somebody fell in the hospital and died. This is no, somebody from down the stairs. Yeah. This is a high to low fall. Yeah. And that's how they passed, like as a result of that sort of that was part of if the fall was the beginning of the decline of the person and we see that as being the moment absolutely if the fall is not that then i can't let you claim that no it was the second thing that added to it not it this okay. is somebody who literally either fell off a bridge fell off a building jumped off a bridge jumped off a building or they were in a plane crash something that would be high and then they were low and that's what causes their passing um i don't know if there's somebody else in that room that this applies to that doesn't apply to me. Okay, so whenever I'm reading for somebody and I hit that impasse, I'll always be pushy like I was with Tracy to make sure- And if everybody's starts. listening that's back there, if if this does apply to you, come to the mic and tell me it applies to you. You know, if, if that is true. I also wanna commend you, and I also wanna say, because I'm reading comments too, that, you know, where people are going, oh, I get that. And you're going like, she, she knew somebody who fell off the stairs. And the fact that you went, no, that wasn't it, it's secondary, you know, as, a charlatan you could claim that and that's where you're not claiming it the fact that right. you're negating if you wanted to prove to people and you don't care about that that's what i right. find incredibly pa fascinating but what's that letter live right no that's it's an l that's an l yeah that's never gonna be a b right so when somebody shows me something i'm not just gonna go yep that's it because i want to but be i'm right. just saying yeah. you have and i'm just saying this to the people because that's why they wanted to bring you on because it's true listen to the fact that he's denying when, and I think that people who want to hear, like Tracy and Wendy, they want to hear things. It's kind of easy to glom onto something, but you know the things that he's hitting. Yeah. Like, Wendy, we have no way of knowing you're working on your teeth and you didn't have insurance and you didn't have, right. and you know, 
I do know that you lost your husband, but I didn't share that with him. Right. You know, you this didn't is tell me anybody was coming. Like, no, I no, we no, no, no. I thought we were going to take just calls. And Which is will. fine, because I kind of feel like those who are supposed to get red, get red. I, you know, I had lunch with somebody and didn't know that another person was going to be there yesterday. And all of a sudden I wound up talking to their family. Right. So it happens in the way that it's supposed to. I just want to be really clear. I don't think we're talking about somebody that's on the watching this. I think somebody here is doing in what? your circle here in this building where we okay. are has somebody who passed that way. And I don't feel like it's going that direction. I feel like it's still going this direction. So if there's anybody that's out in this section here that has that, like they, they may not want to, they may be getting, you know, if somebody jumped or something, they may not want to, you know, mental health is my little soapbox. They may not want to come forward and share that. Right. The guy that's sitting next to you, do you guys, you work here all the time? Do you have that somewhere connected through you? Like, is there some story where somebody had a high to low passing? Not for me, no. You sure? Yeah. And no Michael connected to you? No. Just tell me to say Mike, Mikey, Mike, Mickle, Mickey, there's like an M name. I don't. No. Is it Wendy again? You, Wendy, what? Yeah, now that when you said that name, now I remember my, one of my mother's best friend's son committed suicide. And his name was Mickey. Okay. And the way that I'm describing it? Now, it, like... I, I know this that. is like splitting hairs here, Wendy, but is did he pass in a high to low passing? Yeah. Like where he... Yeah, he killed himself jumping. Okay. Yeah, so this is your family's way of letting you know that they wow. know that you're here. And this is one of the things where, you know, I did a, I did a radio show in South Africa and you know, I, I always do readings where they, people call in and I answer the call. Well, the gentleman there brought people into the studio and it was like, I was all over the place. It was like, I couldn't, I can't keep track of like once well, I- Well, you're not controlling that side. I you're can't, just, yeah, you're I just kinda, I kinda just go with what I'm getting and hopefully it makes sense. Wendy, what are you thinking? I'm just blown away. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm teary eyed, you know, because it's just- But does it help? It does help because okay. I believe that there is, you know, a, a crossing over of people and that they have, give you signs in some way. And I do, I believe that. I've always believed that. And Tracy, how do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for Wendy. I love Wendy. Wait, that's an awesome, yeah, Wendy. that is an awesome response. So Tracy, thank you for, Tracy, what's your birthday? Just day and month. I want to just see something. November 25th. So, <laughs> so Tracy, just from an energy standpoint, this last year for you is a year of spiritual introspection, questioning your beliefs, looking at your philosophy. And after your birthday of this year, you're going to have to be looking at value, looking at and, if, and looking at what brings you value through the lens of imagine, does this bring me emotional value, spiritual value, financial value, physical value? Everything's going to be looking at life through that lens because the room of the house that you'll be navigating through is that significant. And then where's the person that had lung cancer? Not for use. Uh, my dad. Had lung cancer? He had, yeah, but that was a secondary. He had several things, yes. But he had lung cancer? Yeah. Okay, and then was that something that originally was misdiagnosed? Like no. did they, they didn't discover that he had lung cancer? Like they didn't, it was they after, didn't, they didn't yeah. roll into it like, oh, and now we're dealing with this? No, it was found later on because he so, had bladder cancer, he had other things. Yeah. Right, so for, first he was navigating one thing and then it rolled yes. into, so yes. it metastasized Correct. to his lungs. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then we're connected to your husband's family or a contemporary's family. Did somebody pass either on their birthday or on somebody's anniversary or on something celebratory? Hmm. I should, I should actually establish this. Do you, are you married? Yes. Okay. So where's the connection to somebody there that would be M like Marty or M like Margaret or the M name, living or past? No one with that. You're shit like out of luck, Tracy. Sorry. <laughs> so here, here's what I'm going to tell you. I don't want you to forget what I'm saying. And I know that you're on the yes. spot and I know that this is live, but just know that this is their their attempt because i'm like literally trying to block everything i'm feeling over here to put energy yeah. here um thank so you you know you're welcome i just want you to understand that you're in a in a spot of, if you should be questioning everything from your birthday last year to your birthday of this year you should be looking at 
every philosophy, belief system, thing that you know you used to think you used to know everything. You might find yourself even drawn to different religions. You might find yourself questioning like, you know what, I've always wanted to learn about Kabbalah. I want to learn more about that. I want to learn more about astrology. I want to learn more about this. Follow that. There's a, there's a reason why that that's taking place. And nobody lost a son for you? Me? Yeah. My own son? Did anybody in that room lose a child? I have a vehicle impact passing that's coming through. It's not for Wendy. Oh, thank God. It's not for Wendy. This already happened. Somebody oh. over there is connected to a vehicle impact. That's somebody died in an impact. Oh. Who else is in there? Can I Go ahead. tell you? The whole start of my husband's downfall was a vehicle accident. And his middle name was Michael. I don't think that's it. Okay. I think wow. this is I think this is somebody else that is trying to get my attention. And what they're showing me is that they passed suddenly and quickly in an impact. Okay. And I don't feel like I'm this direction. I feel like I'm that direction. So if I was standing in a room, I would say, this is where I'm going. So I would go to where I'm pulled. And that's where the energy feels pulled. So somebody there has that. So maybe after the show, they'll, they'll go, well, I did have that, but you know, I don't want to say anything, but at least you're hearing that, that it's there. Anybody behind this wall? Yes. yes. We have a whole crew of about 132 no, people. No, yeah, but we, no. no, not that, not that many, but there is people behind this wall. There is yeah. a couple of people. Yes. Somebody here has this. You have a contemporary or somebody that you would know that passed into, you know, they were, there's an impact. Nobody there? They do. I'm just going record. You heard me live. I'm saying it. It's in there. And when it happens after the fact, you're going to be like, well, why wouldn't you say something? And then they'll be like, well. I didn't want to talk about it. Well, a lot of the people behind that wall don't want to be involved. Okay. They don't even like this job. <laughs> they don't even want to work with me. Unlike They're me, just, who wants my name and my face plastered on everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a daughter thing. <laughs> well, thank you, Tracy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll, uh, we'll move thank on from Tracy, much. but thank you. You know, we tried. Is there any more to, to Wendy? Because we could no. also take some of our viewers. We can set up a, uh, a FaceTime now. We have a Zoom. A Zoom. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And we'll talk. Can we answer so anybody qu if they have question questions? If you have a question, uh, ask the question and then he'll, uh, he'll answer this. Let's, uh, could it be one of us in the chat? Yes, it could be one of it. But he could talk to somebody. No, not no. in the chat. But he can answer your question. No, no, I, I'm not. What I'm saying is it's, I'm not reading for somebody in the chat. It would be very easy to go on. Listen, you go live on TikTok, right? Right. So imagine going live on TikTok and throwing out five things. About somebody's going to match. Somebody's going to claim that. Yes. So I to, always see that on TikTok. I like hate someone that. doing a reading and everyone's like, I think you're talking to my sister. I think right. you're talking to I'm my mom. I'm getting a T. I'm getting a T. Is there anybody out there with a T in the, any part I'm of your the, name? I'm the anti of that, yet people will attack me for being the opposite. So thank you for saying what you said. What? Uh, I just want to let you know, we do have a group, a bunch of people that have already joined the Zoom. So we can go into that whenever you want, or we can wait on questions. So your call, just want to let you know. Let's, go, let's, to, go, into what, Zoom. Zoom, let's go Let's go into the Zoom. What mom, mom's trying to say something. What were you trying to say, mom? What about me? I'm just saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to say hi. My, my wife always likes to be read. What about me? She's very much, that apple didn't fall far from the tree. What about me? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, here is somebody on Zoom. Zoom. These are uh, viewers and, and followers that just clicked in there. You could talk to them. Hi, so if I could just make a recommendation that you should take their last names off just for their own protection. Really? Yeah. I'm very, I have a lot of rules. Okay. They, they put their name in. They put their own name. Can you well, just it? the people that are watching now that are uh, in line on Zoom or whatever, take your last name off the screen. And what are you protecting them from? Um, from somebody saying that you guys are looking them up and giving me information in my headset. Oh. I've been doing this for way too long. I trust you, so I'm I not know. thinking that way. Is this, we is this fun still for you to watch him Oh, do I never this? get tired of this. I love it. It's amazing. I love watching him do it, yeah. And when your friends came his over name. for like sleepovers. She just makes fun of me all the time. She tells me that I Hello. use my- What? His, his what? No, he has Wendy's voice. Yeah. Okay, his okay. name is gone. His name is gone, totally. Perfect. Okay, oh, that, that the guy? Yeah. Okay. Hi, sir. Hi. How are you? Doing good. How are you, John? I'm great. What's your question? How can I help you? 
Uh, I was just trying to see if there was any uh, loved ones because I've uh, over the last couple of years, I've had a lot of people uh, pass in my in my life, some that I cared about, you know, starting around when I was 17 till uh, just recently within the last couple of years. And I was just wondering if there's any um, connection with any of them. And I also I have an uncle. Wait, wait, hold on a second. What's your first name? Uh, Steve. Hi, Steve. Steve, did anybody Hi. recently or somebody going for an either an angiogram or an angioplasty? Is somebody going for like a nuclear stress test or something where they're they're like being examined? That 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 would actually be me. <laughs> okay. So one of the things that I'll talk about when I'm reading is I'll see what I call my dog treat. And the dog treat is okay. when the, when the dog does the thing correctly, there's a piece of validation that's given so I know that I'm tuning okay. in with you. And then if okay. I said to you I'm seeing twins, right? When I see twins, okay. it means that either somebody is a twin, has a twin, or that there's a Gemini, which is the sign of the twin. It's just symbolic for me. Where's the uh -huh. Where's the twin connection or the Gemini connection? I, I, my 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 birthday is May thirty first. So you're a Gemini. Yes. Okay. So that means that that you're the twin. So yes. Um. And can I be personal because we're live and I okay. just want to be yes. respectful. Yes, okay. Certainly. So is there somebody that is currently struggling with like mental health? Is there somebody that's having a like uh, they're they're in a spot right now where they're feeling like this is hard. Like this is like really hard. Like I, they're like there's there's a stagnation and a stuck energy. Uh, that that would kind of be me. Uh, I just recently got over being sick over the Christmas holiday, and I had a lot of problems with. Um, I ended up taking uh, Sudafed which gave me a really bad reaction where my anxiety level just spiked through the roof and I was not able to calm down and, and relax and everything. So okay. that, that, and, and I was in and out of ERs and stuff trying to figure out what was going wrong. And now everything is kind of stabilizing, you know, now. <laughs> right. And, and there's a part of you that's in, doesn't matter how old you are. You could have been, you could be 80, you could be 20, but yes. the symbol for me is the same. There's a feeling of looking for acceptance from the people that are above you. Above you would be like the parents, right? The people that you should yes. be getting acceptance from. And there's a part yes. of you that is saying that you don't care about that because you live in your life, you're doing your thing, but yes. you you, you kind of still do. You're, you're still living uh, underneath the, the umbrella of what do they think? Now, it's Im important to recognize what do you think, right? So I think that yes. par part, of, part of where you're at and part of what's happening around you, I would say, you would be a great candidate to have your astrological chart done. And the reason why, it would give you an understanding of not only who you are, a blueprint of who you are, but also, uh -huh. you know, the way the planets move and stuff, they, the transits, what do they call them, transits? Yeah, aspects so, and transits. Aspects, and, my daughter does the astrology. Aspects and great transits um, would tell you, hey, here's the weather, right? Here's what you're working on. Are you a, yes. new, are you a new dad? Uh, I'm actually an old dad. My, my kids are, uh, 15 and 17. So what would or make 16, 15 and 16, excuse me. What would make you the new dad? What's the new dad reference? Like what's the new part of being the dad for you? Like there's something very new. It almost feels like I'm handing you a baby. That's how new it feels. So, um, and then I mean, my kid, my, my kids getting older mm. would be, no, did you possibly impregnate somebody at work? <laughs> No, no, that, that is impossible. <laughs> Liar. Um, <laughs> I, I've been with the same woman for 18 years, and we've ne I've never had infidelity, and she's never had infidelity. So. Steve, Steve, who's the L name, living or past, connected to you? Mm. And it, 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 is it like just any part there, of the name? No, no, it's got to be in the beginning part. <laughs> the beginning part. Um, like, is there Laura, Lori, Lisa? Where's the L name, living or past? I got to tell you, dude, there's a new baby energy around you. Now, I believe you that shop's done. I believe you, you're saying that you're yeah. done, but I want to be clear. I see new baby. So that means that someone in your circle is going to be announcing that they're either pregnant or a baby's being born, but there's something. Well, 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 well without getting too personal with my wife, my wife actually had a procedure where she can't get pregnant anymore. Wait, she just had a gynecological thing happen? No, 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 no. She, she, we, she had the the procedure that had the fallopian tubes removed. 
but not because she was pregnant. Not like not no. an ectopic pregnancy. No. no. So then no. again, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as I'm getting it. And I always tell people yeah. I could be wrong, but I'm still gonna say it how I'm getting it. I see new okay. baby. I see new baby. New baby doesn't mean new beginning and new jobs. It doesn't mean no. that it means new baby. So somebody around you is gonna be announcing a pregnancy. Somebody's around you gonna okay. be telling you that they had a baby. And then do you have a brother, Steve? Uh no, I have a sister. Who's the male? that would be directly connected to your side that I would see as being like husband, brother, brother-in-law, directly connected. Do you have a partner mm -hmm. in business? No, I do not. Okay, tell me who David is. Uh, that's my father. Okay. Or was my father, he's passed. So David is coming through, but he's acknowledging himself as your buddy. He's putting himself at your side. Like I'm mm -hmm. with, like that's how he's coming across to me. We, he's, he's not putting himself, wait, 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 hold on. He's oh, not sorry, putting, sorry. he's not placing himself for me above you. He's putting himself okay. to your side. So that's telling okay. me if he's your dad, he's not placing himself above where he should be in my head. He's putting himself uh, at your side. So if there's a okay. reason why he's putting himself there. So let's say you had the relationship with him where you were best friends. That would make sense. Let's say you didn't know him. He's coming across like he's walking life with you. So it is just the way of showing me that he's here. He's also telling me to talk about the drug overdose. Who overdosed? Mm. Nobody that I'm aware of. You have somebody that passed because of narcotics or toxins in their body. Who else is near you? Uh, my wife. Can she hear me? Uh, I don't know. Hey, Nicole, come here. Come here a second. <laughs> this is one of the funny moments. Like if I go live on TikTok, right? Yeah. I'm reading for somebody and then yeah. like somebody walks through the back and then they wind is up there, getting ready. And they have that moment of like, what are you doing? Episode. Christina. Oh, I, I had a, I, I totally forgot. My wife just reminded me. I had a step cousin that passed of an overdose. Your your dad's letting him know the person that overdosed is there. Um, okay. And then what's happening in April? Mm. You guys supposed to travel? Uh, it would be like the end of March. No, it would be like April. So something um, something something travel related is coming up around the four. So that's means the fourth month. So, and then is your wife's mom passed? Uh, not that we're aware of. We've, we've lost contact okay. with her. Cause I don't see, don't know. I don't see her. I don't see her mom being present for her. Yes, that, that, that is true. She, she's not an active part of our lives. And so. where's the healthcare connection? Who worked in health? Uh, my mom. Okay. My, my, well, my mom and my grandmother were both nurses. Well, one was a different kind of nurse than the other. Like one was specialized. Yes, one was a home health care nurse and the other one was a registered but, nurse. And one of them must have worked at a NICU at one point or they had to be some type of connection to talking to you about preemies or something that somebody uh, was... Uh, I, I actually have a step-grandmother that did that. Yeah, preemies, NICU type stuff? Yeah, she, she, she worked in NICU. Yeah, it's just their way of kind of putting themselves there. And then somebody had either... Uh, a, a gangrenous thing? There's like a gangrene? Somebody had gangrene? Not that I'm aware of. So I leave that with you. When you figure it out, you can let Howie know, okay? Okay. Thank that you. That was great. Thank you. All thank right. you. Well, but thank you, you did hit much, a guys. lot of points. I mean, yeah. you know, it's funny because people will... <laughs> being graded. <laughs> no, 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 no. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You're not being graded at no, all. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But because we're live or because we're in media, I read, you could take him down and uh, thank you, you, we'll, we'll put somebody else right, up. Thank, we'll thank put you. the next John, one up. Thank you, Howie. Thank you. Um, because, you know, I'm on AGT. And everybody who, and it's, this is not the same thing because it's a trick. That sounds like a hormone. I'm on yes. AGT. <laughs> because my testosterone is low and they put me on AGT. <laughs> well, it's not an STD. Yes. But the point is that, um, and he said he had a 15 year old daughter. He may not know. She could be getting pregnant. <laughs> you know, that's a season new baby. Is that where you go, Howie? The new that's baby? <laughs> I think it's Andrea back there. Oh, Andrea! Andrea yeah. is the one with the new baby. <laughs> you know, you see a new baby. I, I know where a new baby could come from. But you already announced that. No, but does it have to be from him? Yeah. I did announce. Yeah, my yeah. Baby. From him. That, he's not going to tell you I see a new baby because, like, then people are going to. You announced it on your Instagram. Yeah, I announced that I have a new baby. I didn't have. I have a new granddaughter. But the but the truth of the th of the matter is that they are looking for any way to discredit. That's what the internet is, and that's what most of this chat Specifically is. Specifically with me. <laughs> no. Yes. With me. I will go on record. Go on record. Watch other people who do this. They do not get attacked in the same way. The people who are psychics? People who do this work publicly. I will go on record 
They will not get attacked in the same way. That Why do you think Ms. you get Cleo, attacked more? Miss Cleo got attacked pretty hard. Hold, hold, hold on a second. I said people who do this work. <laughs> Why no, do you, why, no offense. why do you think you're more of a target than others? I don't know. Why do you think your dad is more of a target than others? I don't know, but I can validate it because I've seen it. But you don't know everybody else's. Do I you just think th it's because you're so well known and we talked about before, we can't play the clip, but like South Park took it on. And so like, you know, you have broadcasts that are taking on you personally and not just what you do. And so everyone- I actually had this conversation with Dr. Phil because I had been on a show a lot of times and yeah. I'm like, Nate like dropper. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> First I'm not, you talk I, about the bear from Larry King and now Dr. Phil. <laughs> but no, but I was on, I was really, I, I, I asked him, I go, what's your perspective? He goes, you take what you do very, very seriously and you don't make it about you. I think what people see is we all, nobody in life is not gonna deal with loss. It, you're, just sure? go, you're just going to. And when you lose somebody or when this happens around you, you are probably, it feels like you're in the most vulnerable position ever. Right. Right? So I think that people think that if you, it's an easier time, uh, this is not what you're doing, right. but I think that people think that that's an easier time to, uh, I'm using, I'm trying to think of the know, right I words. I know you're saying that somebody's vulnerable yes. and it's an easier time for somebody to be taken care of, uh, taken advantage of. Right? Yes. And then you meet Tracy who goes, no, 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 no. And if that was the case, she would try to claim any, anything to make it for her. Right. But the reality is you can't claim something that's not for you. And that's in any aspect of life, right? You know, you can't compare yourself to somebody else with an opportunity. If somebody's got success and somebody else doesn't, you only could drive and be responsible for your car, realistically, right? You right. can only make your decisions. But the, the reality is when we're dealing with the subject matter, I get why people would attack the subject matter. I get it. I completely get, I did it. I was the person who did the attacking. When people came out of my grandmother's house and they were having readings in the back room, I would make the joke and be like, hold on, he said you were going to Florida. And they'd be like, yes. And I'd be like, of course you are. You live in New York, everybody goes to Florida. Why didn't they say you were going to Georgia? How come you're not going to Tennessee? But they were all going to Florida. It wasn't until I had my own personal experience and saw the reality of it where I was like, hold on a second, this woman could not know this. Why did she do that? So then I, I went to the place and I talked about this in the last time we were together. Well, maybe she's like a mind reader. She read in my mind. But you can't read somebody's mind when they don't know that either. And she gave me outcomes. And part of her reading with me was to put me on my path. So my journey was of learning, understanding, teaching. And that's why I feel my role is. Like I want to teach people. So if I What's have, the lesson? The lesson is that we should live our lives the best way we possibly can with love and communication so that when we do face loss, we don't have to wonder if the person knows. Did they know that I love them? Take the opportunity while you're here to make sure through actions, words, and thoughts that you let that person know. Because then when you're, when you're navigating loss, you're navigating the missing of the person, the grief of the person, the love you share of the person, not the, oh my God, I wonder what they were thinking or feeling, or I wonder if they knew, did they but know? But still, that's just bringing it to yourself, which I don't think people should do. We're very selfish. No, I think we have to honor what we feel. I think when somebody's navigating loss. But not how you feel about me or what you know about but me. But that's what people do. They go to the, uh, every single, here's what I will say. Anybody that's watching this or listening to this, anytime you sit in front of a medium, here's what a medium knows. We know why you're sitting in front of us. You wanna know that life and love are eternal. You wanna know that they're okay. You wanna know that they survived physical death. You want them to know that you love, love them. You wanna know that they love you. You want them, them to know that you miss them. You wanna know that they're not disappointed in your choices. That is the philosophy upon which anybody is gonna sit in front of anybody who does this work. Then you, you should not accept a performance as being information. Somebody should not be getting emotional while they're doing your reading. It should be treated like a doctor. When somebody gives you a diagnostic, they should tell you, here's what's coming through. Here's what I'm seeing. Here's what I'm hearing. Here's what I'm feeling. How you feel about that is now on you. If you go to a doctor and they're gonna give you a cancer diagnostic, you don't want them to say, oh my God, I'm so sorry, you have terminal lung cancer. Because that does not give you room to heal. And there are a lot of people who get diagnosed with things who then can heal, but not if they don't believe they can. So if you hear information and then that puts you on a path to process, okay, I don't know Wendy, Wendy doesn't know me. She's got a lot to think about now, right? She's yeah. got a lot to think about, but what that should do is not hinder her, it should help her, right? So to me, it should be about helping somebody evolve, which is why I do evolve. 
just talk to another person? There's sure. other people that we have on the Zoom that's waiting. Someone just suggested have Lou do it too. Who's Lou? <laughs> I don't think Lou's here anymore. He's not here anymore. He's not here anymore. Okay. Well, Lou? we have other people waiting on the All Zoom. Right, bring another in? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> who's Lou? <laughs> don't we worry. don't know. No. It's just oh. a moment. You should know. <laughs> I don't know who Lou is. <laughs> They'll tell him. Okay, here's somebody else. Hey there. Take a minute for her to hook up. She's in the car. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi there. All right. You're on with Hi. John. You have a you have a weird connection, but that's okay. Who oh, I have a weird I can connection. Hear you. She can hear us. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. Well, you Hi do there. have a weird connection. <laughs> What's your first name? Hi, Paula. Hi, Paula. How can I help you? I don't oh. know. My I had a lot of death in my family and people. Right. So in in sitting in your car, calling up in the show, thanks for being here. Thanks for being a part of it. But if there was a specific person that you wanted to hear from relationship wise, who would that person be? Oh my, God. my husband, my father. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anybody? Stop, stop right there. The reason why I'm, I'm putting you on the spot is because we are live. And many, many years ago, I did a radio show where I said to the DJ, his name is Ross Britton. Shout out to Ross. Um, Ross Britton said to me, he was popping up here in the studio. They have these, like, there's a glass between the productions and and where we're sitting and he had people like you know sue line one dad mary line two mom and i said to him i go you you can't do that he goes i can't and i go no you can't put that up there and he goes why not it's my show and i said because i i, I don't want to know anything and he goes here's what's gonna happen they're gonna call up looking for those people you may not get that he goes and i can't have dead air on my show he goes when you get your own show you do it any way you want he goes but right now we're going to sue on line one who wants to talk to her dad and what that helped me do is get them not to think about what it is that's coming through, which is what's happening here in this case. So Paula, do you have a sister? Yes. Okay, are you estranged from your sister? Mm, one of them, a little one, not really. But so yes. a according to what I'm seeing, you're one of either four girls or you're one of four kids or you're one of four in a family and there's an estrangement with one of the females and there's a lacking of patience and an annoyance of like having to kind of pick up the slack and I'm not having this conversation for the third time because this person's not getting their life together. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. And then the healthcare connection that you have, is that something that you do? Like, do you work in healthcare? Like, or are you navigating somebody who works in healthcare? My son went to med school. Okay. So, so and he is he still with us? That's it. Or I, need to to I can't hear you. Is he yes. still with us? Yes. I'm so sorry. Yes. Can you hear? Her? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Said, yes. Um, yes. And can I be personal live? Yes. Okay. Um, is there an annoyance about your son's choice with like med school? Like, did, do you not like the fact that he went or do you not like his specialty? Did he not complete it yet? Like, what's the journey there? He uh, had some problems with the school and they haven't released his transcripts and he's been sitting in the same place for the last 20 years. So, like, so not doing what he's supposed to. So your your um, frustration with your sister, your frustration with your son is that you have the ability to be able to look at what people are doing, assess very, very quickly what they need to be doing and you get annoyed that they're not doing what it is that you think that they should be, be doing, correct? <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> okay. And then you had a conversation with a coworker or a friend, and that coworker was telling you what was happening within their relationship dynamic, and you very quickly was able to intuitively and insightfully assess what they need to do when it comes to their circumstance, correct? So that gives you validation as a person where you're like, it's not me, I'm not crazy, I'm not just being a hard person on my son, I'm not being a hard person on my sister, I'm just assessing the reality of, they're all complaining about where they're at, but nobody wants to do anything about it, correct? Yes. Right, so that could be frustrating, and that is exactly what it feels like to do this work, where you're legitimately, energetically able to assess something, see something, but then recognize that there's an obstacle and a blockage, and that if you tell somebody what to do or how to do it, it's not gonna help them learn what the lesson is. Now, I don't know if you had to make a decision to take somebody off of life support, but my feeling is that you had to make a decision where there was some type of treatment and you had to make a decision and that's now, that's, it's kind of fallen upon you. Now, my background comes in healthcare and one of the things that I always advocate for people, anybody watching this, have a living will, 
have a healthcare proxy, make sure people know what your wishes are, because sometimes we wind up in circumstances and situations where we have to kind of make decisions that would be best for the person. And nobody wants to be put in that position, right? So that's the kind of way I'm being, I'm, I'm being shown. Where did you have to get involved with that? Uh, you know Robert, Robbie, Ra, something R? Who's the R? Paula? Uh, Who? Wait, let me... That's let okay, me. sorry. And then... Can I be ridiculously personal somewhere? You can. <laughs> She's like, you can, but I'm not sure I'm going to answer you. <laughs> yeah, um, you, can, you can do it. Okay, I'm going to give you a hypothetical, so I give you an out, so you don't have to you don't have to you don't have to point at who this is. Um, did somebody that was in a uh, heterosexual relationship now not be in a heterosexual relationship? Did somebody is somebody now dating the same sex? Not to my knowledge. So the, I mean, I don't know. So I think you're <laughs> I gonna. I think you're gonna find out. So um, they tell me to use that as a. You're gonna hear this. So somebody that might have been, you know, married to a man, might be dating a woman. Somebody that might. Somebody who's married to a woman might be dating a man. There's gonna be some type of. Um, they're, they're gonna be going to the same church. Is the feeling. Um, it's just, just a, a way of putting this up. And did you say you have a husband that's passed? Yes. And is he gone in the last two years? No, I had a boyfriend that passed in like the last four years. Uh, my husband died twenty years ago. Somebody died two years ago. I'm looking at a I'm looking at a blue rose, and a blue rose marks eighteen months. So there's a recent passing in the last eighteen months. Dad, my dad, my dad. Okay, so your dad is the one who's letting me know all this other information, talking about your sister, talking about your son. Um, I kind of feel like he's your, you know, consigliere. He's the person that maybe you would go to and say stuff to, or maybe he would be the person who had the, yes. the, the greatest one line, the greatest one lining, one liner insights, like a real, yes. a real fortune cookie, like something that like nails the moment in the moment. That's the feeling. He's telling me to talk about the, 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 the cane that lived in the corner, the cane that was up against the wall. So I don't know if you had the cane or if there's still a cane in a corner. Somebody needs a knee thing, but there's a cane they show me. Not as in a candy cane, like a legitimately walking stick. So somebody had the walking stick. He's got a blind issue. Somebody was blind in one eye. Somebody had a blind thing. They lost vision, macular degeneration, one eye. Usually that's two uh, eyes. I don't know. So there's somebody who has a problem with one eye. Like their, their one eye is really, really bad. Um, but that's the energy that I'm getting if it's your dad in the last two years. So two things, you also have somebody who either had a problem with alcohol or had a problem with drugs or had a problem with some type of substance or imbalance. Where's that? Is somebody dealing with sobriety? Oh, 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 oh. that was my son, biological father. Okay. And then, um, what about the, I tried to help. Him. Well, you tried to help everybody, Paula. That's the problem. So now it's time for Paula to work on Paula. What's your birthday? 112165. 1121. Was that Scorpio? 1121. That, I would be yeah. on the cusp, I would say. So you, you should be taking on a lot of stuff this year, Paula. Like energy wise, you should be taking on, like, you're expanding, like, the, you're trying to shift your career, taking on, taking on more for you personally. Yes. I'm trying. Are you in Texas? What state are you in? Oh, LA, Los Angeles. What's in Dallas? They show me DFW. So I get my information through airport codes. <laughs> uh, you know what? I went to a doctor <laughs> in Dallas. It kind of messed me up. but Your, da your dad's bringing up... I just, thought, I just thought about him. I just talked to my friend, Wendy, about him last night. That's so funny. We did mention that last night. So here's the thing. When people come through, they do current events. They'll give you like what's happened around you, what you just did. Um, you also were complaining last night about the blanket or the sheets where you made a reference about <laughs> bedding, correct? Hello? I did. Yeah. So I did. This is where Howie's going to jump in and be like, did you know John Edward was in bed with you last night talking about your sheets? <laughs> Just know that I did. I had a heated blanket. 
just just know that your your dad's good, but I kind of feel like where we started is where I want to go back, and that is, Paulie, you can't fix everybody. Just try try to work on what's happening around you. Otherwise, you're gonna get beyond frustrated. You're gonna feel really really frustrated. So, don't 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 be frustrated. Be proactive for yourself in the same way you're trying to get other people to get out of their own way. Okay. Except for where the kids are concerned, not your kids. So I don't know if you have, if you have grandkids. I don't know if you're concerned about like somebody else's child is not in a good spot. Don't don't My have to don't wait. Yeah. A- okay. Don't, I want you to just hear me. I don't want you to announce where it is. Um, but you know what I mean, right? Like you're concerned about the the nieces, the nephews, the grandchildren. So I feel like that you can put your attention on if you can give some type of insights or or help. Okay. Okay. All righty. Thank you. Thank you, All Paula. Right, thank you. Oh, you hit. All right. Thank you, Howie. Thank Bye. you, Paula. So now, because of you, she's going to be talking to all of her relatives and asking them if they're gay? No. (laughs) (laughs) You gay? So here's what what happens. Uh, Things get announced, right? So things get announced in readings, and then people kind of go, oh, that's not it. And then they kind of put it back over here, Mm -hmm. and then something happens, and then they go, wait a second. (laughs) My dad brought that up, right? Or sometimes people make announcements in readings that... Um, I don't always know and things change, right? So now like technology, you have like the proto, the prototype thing, yeah. here, right? Proto. So, proto. Yeah. so this proto machine, you can beam people in hologram and it's the coolest thing, but people now do their DNA and their the gift of ancestry and whatever. And guess what they discover? Family. Right. New family. Right. But those family always existed, but now in readings, new family gets acknowledged. So all of a sudden I'll be talking to somebody who's you know, 60 and was an only child for their entire life. And all of a sudden their biological dad comes in and they're like, yeah, I just found out I had him. So you're like 23 and you. Can you predict if Tana's <laughs> gonna show up? Who's Tana? Yeah. See? <laughs> See? She's supposed to show up. <laughs> Tana is somebody we've been waiting for for two weeks. For two weeks. Oh. You know Tana? I've already, I've How already. How do you say her last name? I Mojo. Think. I've you already Mojo? got. I've heard the name before. A hundred dollars from influencer. you because she didn't show up Who last time. Who said that time. she was going to show up, but she hasn't showed up. And I think she'd be fun to read. Yeah. This is pretty amazing. And I find this amazing. I don't know. Are they, uh, are the people in the chat Responding positively, negatively. It's a mixed bag. I think the people who have their mind set already, it's going to be hard to change their mind. And then there's people that are open to the idea too. So I think it's just. So do you know who Elizabeth Kubler Ross is? Yes. No. So Elizabeth Kubler Ross wrote a book called On Death and Dying. And uh-huh. I was part of a, a documentary. I don't know when it was, probably 1999. And it was one of the maybe the last interviews that they did with her. And um, she was really, really funny in it. She said, For those that don't believe, when they get there, they'll know. So you'll find out, you'll find out if you don't believe. And if they have a question, has anybody posed a question? I don't mean about free reading. Yeah, someone did pose a question a long time ago, the first time you asked was, how do I help my daughter with her medium, whatever word. She's a medium? She, I guess she's a medium or she sees or hears stuff. I don't know. They said, how do I help my daughter? I I say this openly because I was a kid that, you know, developed early mm-hmm. i have two children that extremely genetic predispos- predisposed can you read? For this. do you have that she can, can you read <laughs> yeah can you read yes but definitely not as my I, I would not choose to do that as my profession right but do things come to you do are have you, the ability yeah and do you sit like with a friend and you go oh, i'm getting this vibe i i i could but um a lot a lot of uh a, a lot of the times it's family or, or something related like that I compare it to like, I like, I enjoy baking as a hobby, but. Tana! <laughs> no way! I'm Tana! actually so pissed that you showed up because I was gonna get another $100. Oh, I bet you weren't coming. You bet on me not showing up. I already won $100. Can she sit? Is she can sit? <laughs> Don't we yeah, yeah. yeah, but you sit in the middle and let her sit over there. Hi. I can Hi. leave I, too. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> do you believe in, in uh, psychic? Yes, I do. They just told me that, who talks to dead people? And I guess we all do in different ways, probably. This guy. Oh, hi. hi, John she Edward. Has a great energy. How are you? She does have a, have, have a great energy. I have a great energy. You do. That's you like, hear that? Like I just heard it. <laughs> like she will get up if you ask her to be on the show. She has so much energy. Where within a week and a half, <laughs> she'll show up. She will be there. She has a great energy. I'm sorry, Howie. Paige no. was really sick, though. I saw you uh, speculating that. Uh, that wasn't true. And I just, I'm here to clarify. She also posted a fucking selfie that day from like a week ago, trying to get this guy's like attention. He and called the, you a liar. 
You call me a liar. Why? I'm a lot of things. Happen. When did I call her <laughs> no, a liar? No, just kidding. He said that you, no, we speculate, this is actually on me. We speculate that you were using it to get out of coming. I was not using it to get out of coming. <laughs> <laughs> she was supposed to be here last week, but I'm glad she's here this week. And Aww. have you been Aww. to a psychic ever? Yes, um, a couple actually. Really? Yeah, I've had a lot of weird like psychic experiences. I get scared of them now. I've had psychics like predict a lot of shit in my life that has happened. So I don't like the word predict because when you hear the word predict, it almost makes it seem like it's written in stone and it has to happen. Yeah. I like the word project. Because, I love project. Because a projection is something <laughs> a projection is something that you can shift or change and a yeah. projection is something that you can be prepared for. Okay, I so, love that. Yeah, projections are good. So yeah. I have to, what, what, what's your sign? I'm a cancer, I'm a triple cancer. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, look at Olivia's face. I don't even know what that means. That means your cancer metastasized? What does that even mean? Just all around. Like some people are like, well, I don't know a lot about zodiac signs. I pretend she, she to. Does. She's a I pretend to when I want to hook up with someone that likes zodiac signs. I don't but, know if you're a good influence um, for your daughter. But this is, she just turned 17 today. Oh, hello. She's like 30. Happy birthday. <laughs> She's like 30, so don't worry. Did you say I'm like 30? No, no she's like 30. Oh, I love that. It's all good. I love that. Okay, well now I know. And what, I'm that, what does that mean, Olivia? Like she's like the like she's the big matriarch. Mom yes, takes care of everybody. Are extremely maternal. It's a it's a water sign, so it's also very intuitive. <laughs> <laughs> but having you said you're a triple cancer. Yeah. So your sun, moon, and rising sign. Yeah. Is a cancer. All cancer. So, pre, like just to explain it really basically, the sun is like your identity. Okay. And your identity would be cancer energy. Okay. Your moon is like your emotions or almost like a more intimate version so, of so that sun So she's sunshine. she's moody? Yeah, it can be a little moody. I'm for sure moody. Yeah. Emo yeah. You, they get the stereotype of being very emotional, mm. but a lot of times it is because they show their emotions a lot while other people will get the same sort of emotional fluctuations, but the people won't see it. They express it. So yeah. people think they're more emotional, but they're a lot of times. I definitely do that. So does she yeah. have to be careful of people wanting her to take care of them and what they do in their lives because yeah. she's if her ascendant's that because yes. that's how the people would see her yes right? because the ascendant is also how people see you so even if you didn't have cancer as your sun identity if cancer was your ascendant you would give off like cancerian energy wow and a and lot of that is about maternal and yeah taking care so i know that today's a full moon yeah. so what does that mean for her oh yeah what's gonna fucking happen full what's gonna moon? fuck up <laughs> No, full moon. Full moon for anyone would be about releasing. So if new moon, if new you're moon gonna shit yourself about, today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. I can. Uh, it's a. It's that's a full every Thursday. Moon. <laughs> it's a full moon in Leo, which is great for creativity. So if you have anything creative or anything you can sort of channel creatively as a as a release of anything that's not serving you, that'd be wow. great. I just bought watercolor paints. Maybe I'll do that later. That that, that actually be good <laughs> if that's creative. Are you? Uh, have you done that before? No. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm sober right now, so I'm looking for things to bring me. To drink. Dopamine. And yeah. watercolor, <laughs> watercolor paint instead of alcohol. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke the watercolor paints. <laughs> Are you getting anything from her? Wait, you no. have to ask, maybe she doesn't want to be red. That's true. Oh, and live. That's very true. Um, we're live. Yeah, we're live. <laughs> um, you can read me live. Are you okay? <laughs> Him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't want Howie to read me live. I don't even want to know what he thinks. But so a couple of things. One, when you walked in, your energy hit before you did. So you, I, I would not have taken her as a Cancerian. I would have taken you as a fire sign. Really? So I don't do astrology. I leave yeah. that to my kids. So I yeah. have in-house astrologers. When I have questions, That's I'd be so like, cool. "What does that mean?" Yeah, but yeah. you have a fiery feeling for me. Like when you came in, I was like, "Okay," um, <laughs> but that makes me feel like I want you to protect that. Okay. That makes I me, definitely don't. Just that, a hunch, but yeah, that makes me feel like I want you to be aware that you can turn that light on and then make sure you keep time for yourself because if you are the tripper, triple water, cancer, whatever that means, <laughs> everybody's going to look for you to take care of them or your natural inclination is going to be want to help and heal people. Um I can say anything. Yeah. Okay. Did somebody pass by suicide connected to you or were their actions brought about how they passed? Probably. <laughs> yeah i mean kind of i don't know i've had i've had a lot of people pass away for like a lot of different things did anybody do it through carbon monoxide or where there was an asphyxiation i don't think so i don't know i'm feeling that i'm feeling like somebody passed where something that they did caused how they passed so i get that through an overdose i get that through somebody that would have choked they would have asphyxiated drowning like, yeah i get it like that yeah and then what ties to the east coast do you have 
so many different ones. I, mean, <laughs> I can't and, imagine where to start. Anything connected specifically to like Jersey, New York, like that area? Yeah. How? Friends? Um, can I connect? Yeah. Can I connect what I'm seeing to the East Coast? That's so interesting that you say that. Like, um, it's just interesting that you say that. It's it's someone who's like alive, I think, but okay. maybe someone that I would worry about dying. East Coast. K kind of connected to the East Coast. That's interesting. Okay, and then do you have your own business business? Yeah. Okay, in two different divisions. Thirty different divisions. So two of them, I feel like I need to focus on. So okay. two of them, it seems like you're you're expanding, growing, moving. It feels like two of them are are, but something might be going. We might be releasing. Okay. And that doesn't mean a bad, a bad thing. So you might be selling something. There might be a, a circumstance or a situation or a person that you're involved with that that comes to an end business-wise and you shift something. Um, so all, interesting. All positive. Okay. All, all, all positive. And then there's real estate in a big way. There's a whole big real estate thing for you. That's so fun. That's what I want to do when I'm a little older. Yeah. Really get into the real estate world. Well, it's not. It's around the corner for you. Leg legitimately, like I feel like we're already having conversations. You were talking to people about it. You were talking about understanding the aspects of finances, investments, and real estate in different areas. And that's so interesting. I was. Yeah. Yeah. And then who's Jimmy? Jamie? Jimmy? Jimmy? I know a lot of Jimmys. Is there I, I used to be a hoe. <laughs> 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 so not ready for that response. <laughs> I'm ready for like, that's my uncle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a Jimmy that stands out. Can I just, what, can I just ask you? <laughs> Focus. Is, I'm sorry. I'm that's sorry. okay. Yeah. You're, Good you're, day to bring your daughter to work, huh? <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Your kids are here. <laughs> if you only you needed some comedic relief. Are you telling your people you're here live? They should, should see I? this reading. Yes. Okay. Wait, Maybe. Okay. okay. No, but they should see this so they can. <laughs> Jimmy Lee. I want people to back up what he sees. I think he's legitimate. I do and, too. But I want you to be honest. But you I want people to just back up for the sake of backing up? Or you want no, people? No, because I think there's something in life. There's something, uh, if I'm not here to teach, but I believe that if, if this is real, mm -hmm. and I believe it is real, I think that we should be aware of it um, comforted by it and also know that there's more than just this. That's exactly how I feel about it. And thank you for saying that. And, and ironic. And that's why her followers, if they know about her and he hits on, it'll be better that her followers go, mm -hmm. oh, we know this. If you could send them to evolveplus.tv, that would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, but seriously, okay. I feel like our, our, our organic connection started with a conversation like this. Right. Yeah. Not in front of cameras, just having a dialogue. And yeah. So is your is your mom still here? Um, I was like adopted. I wonder, I don't know the, you, the state of my like birth parents. The person that you consider to be your, your mom, yeah. she's still here? Yeah. Okay. And energetically, you have shifted your dynamic with her? Um, I shifted my dynamic with my birth mom, if that makes sense. You know, kind of cut her and so my birth father out of my life. But by my, creating boundaries. Yes, exactly. When I was like probably 13 or 14, I kind of switched my view of my, who my parents were to but a, but around my adoptive parents. Eight, 18, 19, you had to redo that. You had to Yeah. Yeah, you had to redo that. So, in life, That's there's so a and in great. life, there's a moment where the universe goes, "Hey, and I'm so sorry, I don't I don't remember your name." Tana. Tana. Um, "Hey Tana, you 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 learned this over here." Mm -hmm. and we're going to have to have you revisit it over here again mm -hmm. so that you can go to the next level, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, yeah. it's like math. We don't always learn addition. We learn it, and then we build upon that as we move forward. Yeah, I dropped out. It took me a while. And I, I, feel, for, I feel for you when it comes to personal relationship dynamics, family personal relationship dynamics, mm -hmm. the energy of where you go, you become the, the, the lead, the, yeah. the matriarch, whether you want to, or not, which is why I feel like you need to protect your energy. Mm -hmm. And that protection comes in emotional areas, that protection, jokingly, maybe you say you, you know, dated a lot of people, but <laughs> it also, it comes in, I'm not giving of myself, I'm not giving of myself financially, mm -hmm. energetically, mm -hmm. mentally, so you can have the reserve. Yeah. I also feel like the physical fitness, the digestive stuff that, you know, you were looking at, like that to me feels like- <laughs> How it does becomes, he know this? Um, 
Occupational hazard. <laughs> <laughs> He's the, the most clear. This is so cool. It's just, it's a part of like, you know, where you're at, what you're working on. Um, and I think you teach what you know, and that's what I do. I teach what I learn, right? Yeah. So as I discover something, I'm like, oh my God, this is really cool. I'm not an astrologer. I never studied it. So I yeah. made my kids learn it, right? I, I do, I run I run something called evolveplus.tv where I bring all these people together because mm. I don't do this stuff, but now I have access to them and yeah. so does the community, right? Yeah. So I feel like we're all here to evolve and you're in that space. Now, do you have two kids? I do not have two No? Am I pregnant? No, no, are, there's no kids for you? I have no kids. Okay, so I see you responsible for two. So now that, what does that mean for me? Can I, I could tell you how I would see this. Okay. Okay. Um, it either means that there were two pregnancies that didn't happen. No. Okay. Um, Fingers crossed. Nope. There's Seriously. The, but this is what the symbol means for me. It okay. means that there's two pregnancies that didn't happen or you will be the mom of two kids. There's like the energy of two, not dogs, not cats. Kids. I mean, I mean kids. That's so fun. So that might be that <laughs> if you want you children, do I have children? No, no do you do want you children? children. No, I do want children. Okay. So, and that yeah. doesn't, and, and kids happen in different ways, clearly, right? Sometimes I've had clients where they're like, I'm absolutely not having kids. And I'm like, but I see, I see two. And they'll go, I'm absolutely not having kids. And then they wind up involved with somebody who comes with kids and they have two kids. Oh, wow, that's so, so cool. So there, there's, there's that. Um, yeah. And then who's the, like, who's like Ashley or who is the Ash? Ashley, that's my like sister, my best friend. Okay. Yeah. Is that just my way of, of, of making sure that I'm, I'm getting that? And then are you planning to go to Spain or are you planning to go to Portugal or why am I in Europe? What's, I, I don't know. I'm looking at like cobblestone streets walking through Europe. So it makes me think Italy, Spain, okay. Portugal. What is that? I was just there. Okay. Like again, just a validation of the, what, what I'm, what I'm seeing for you. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding my breath. I'm sorry. And then you abandoned the tattoo on your back on the spine? I abandoned a tattoo like on my back, kinda, yeah. yeah. I started lasering it off. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> my job. <laughs> it's amazing. It's just, a, it's just a way of backing up what I'm saying. My heart is beating out which of my chest. He's I'm staring go, the shit I'm out of me. I'm gonna go back to what I said, which okay. is I just want you to protect your energy. I want you to be like really focused on you. I want to know everything you have to say, sir. <laughs> She's waiting for more. I'm not kidding. This is so cool. That's no, so I just, crazy. I think you have a. I think you have a. You have a huge level of opportunities coming up for you, but in every opportunity, we have to weigh which is the direction. And I don't feel that sometimes you weigh enough. So it's it's actually. I, I agree with that. I think I spent a lot of my life kind of just going and going and not, you know focusing on that that was one of my big new year's resolutions was to be careful to say no to things that i would normally say yes to and you know weigh out the things that i do and if they're worth it or not that was actually my only new year's resolution and i want you to stick to that and i i, I want that to be something that you remind yourself every day and not from the external forces around you but from the people that are in your circle the ones that love you the ones that you love your friends the ones that you're connected to those are the ones that will be like hey can you could, could you just do that hey would you mind just just doing that yeah and then at a certain point, you might dilute yourself. You might yeah. dilute your your own energy. Why are they focusing on your feet right now? That to me makes me feel like I need to look at your shoes or I need to look at your feet. So like, are you doing anything? Like, I just kind of broke my toe. Yeah, they're making me feel like I need to focus on, again, anything I'm getting around you is about self-care. So you said that you were legitimately working on sobriety, correct? Yes. So that to me is all self-care. Yeah. And creating boundaries, important for, yeah. for self-care. And by the way, for anybody listening that's navigating grief, that's self-care, yeah. making sure that you're working on honoring how you feel, because we have to feel to heal and deal. Yeah, I completely agree and understand. Who's the brother? Well, he's like my best friend. His his family adopted me. He's okay. here, actually. Okay, and is, yeah. his, is his dad passed? No. So is that the J family? Can he, can no. he can hear me? I don't know if he can hear you, he can maybe Is hear. he back there? So is he there? Like, if he's listening to this, is he going like, yep, that's her. Yep, that's her. Like, yep, I get that. Um, How would you know? Yeah, I, I assume so. He like, he knows everything I know. And he's like a brother figure for you, right? Yeah. Hi. There. Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Hi. Talk closer to the mic. What, what are you, what are you getting? Hello. At? I'm just, I don't know if you're able to hear what I was saying about her. Okay. Uh, were you able to hear what we previously discussed? Yeah. Okay. Can you just. I'm just curious, like factually, you understand what I'm saying about her? 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> where's the J name around your family? Who has the J sound, living or past? Um, an older half brother. Okay. Uh -huh. Is he is he past? No, but so, I have an oldest brother that did pass. That pa your your brother's here, coming through around her. So I'm supposed to acknowledge one happy birthday. They're showing me a celebration. His birthday just passed, like yeah. Four days ago. Oh my god, I'm crying. That's so crazy. Yeah, he's making me feel like happy birthday. Oh, that's so crazy. And then, do you know, like, when oh. somebody gets lasered, you know, when somebody gets like lasered stuff done? Oh, yeah. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking Wait. and crying. <laughs> so, that's so is, is there anybody that works with lasers or like laser lights or? Oh my god, that's so crazy. Did you do anything to honor him with lasers? No, not with. Lasers, so, like balloons, like sending them I, up into the sky. I want to acknowledge the illumination or the lights is how I want to acknowledge it. So I want to be very that's clear. So crazy. I don't mean flashing lights and flicking lights. I don't mean it. I, 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 that's not what I mean. I mean like there's something about like seeing the lasers. I kind of feel like if I'm at a, an amusement park or I'm at a place where there's like a disco with flashing lights and like lasers and or neon lights, neon lights would do it for me. Like there's something about that. Okay. There's something symbolic. And are you the baby boy of the family? Um, no. I want you to put him into this as well. And there's a split family, right? You have a split yeah, family? two older half-brothers, her, and then two, like, younger siblings. Okay, and is mom still living? Yeah. Can you let mom know that he came in and make a reference to, to mom? And that, is that his biological mom? Um, we have two separate moms. Okay, but his mom's living? Yes. His biological mom? Yeah, I, need I you just to, saw her. Yeah, I need you to let his biological mom know that, that, that he's okay. And you have his shirt, correct? You took the shirt? No. Yeah, he's telling me you have the shirt folded. It's, it's, it was folded up in the drawer, the shirt. Like, I thought you were going to tell me you just had it yesterday, like you were just looking at it, or just remember he wants me to bring up the shirt. Did you know him too, the brother? Not really. Okay, so there's a reference to that you, you have the shirt. and take. I your, have a bunch of his stuff like folded up in a drawer, and I did just see that, but yeah. I don't think there was a shirt. He's telling me to talk about the stuff in the drawer. To me, it feels folded up. He's telling me he was with you. He likes the new apartment or the, the reference to the new place that you, you moved? Or <laughs> There's a reference to that. And then he's talking about either you were going to Mexico and didn't, or there was a reference to something about Mexico and it got moved, or he was going to Mexico and it got canceled. Somebody was going to Mexico and it got moved or canceled. All right, do you think that when he just said to me about like Italy or like cobblestone, that that's because we were, we were, we were supposed, supposed to, to go, go. To Mexico? Yeah, or well, no, to Italy yeah. Yeah. or to like Spain. That's what I was thinking when he was saying that. I was like, whoa. And then, you know, do you have a wallet wallet? No. So... I'm supposed to I did. <laughs> yes, I'm supposed to tease you about your wallet wallet <laughs> and never bringing it and like going places without your identification. That so, is crazy. So be careful about travel. If you're traveling somewhere, make sure you have make sure he has his passport <laughs> or, or, or his, his wallet. Um, and then he, was he bipolar? I think we all are. <laughs> no, I, I mean, like, was somebody diagnosed like they needed medication? I don't think he was like ever diagnosed. So he had very, very high highs and very, very low lows? Uh, it's not him. Who's Chris? Who's no, Chris? no, 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 no. Who's Chris? They tell Chris. me to tell you Chris. Who's Chris? Someone I know. Is Chris still here? Yeah. Okay. So you get what I'm referencing then? Yeah, yeah but I want to know more. Okay. I'll tell you later. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Your brother's good. You're amazing. Uh, I can only be as amazing as they are in coming through and you are invalidating the information. That is crazy. I'm like shaking. Where's Tracy? <laughs> <laughs> Tracy's still there. Is she pissed off yet? <laughs> Has anyone come in for me yet, please? I promise I'll talk to you when we're done. Thank you. I, I should have came when Ethan was here. <laughs> yeah. This is insane. This is crazy. You're... So talented. I appreciate you saying that. Thank you. And so gifted. I took the compliment. There you see, you I go. get in trouble because I always deflect. And she's oh my God, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> oh no. no. Don't throw no. up. I won't, I won't do that. No. Howie. I promise. I promise. <laughs> do you need so something was... to settle your stomach? We have burritos. <laughs> no, we don't. She ate them all. Yeah, we, had we only got we 10. Had we eater. had 10. We this had an eater. We had so Raina. Wild. It is wild. And I, you know, the thing is that he's done an episode of our podcast. And then we got a lot of, like, besides a lot of views we got a lot of like pushback pushback and i just want to tell pushback how 
because they think this is set up. I'm sure you oh, get pushed oh, up oh. right now. That, oh. like, they, they think that, the, that he has af, ac, access to whatever this information is, I which he doesn't. definitely don't think he has access to any of that information. Yeah, you're, well, you're a very public figure. Do you think, is a lot of what he said available online or not? Not really, especially with um, Amari's brother and stuff like that. And just different, yeah, a lot, no. And I, I don't think he, I'd like, you just don't give me the energy that you spent the day researching me to come fucking mm. hoax it up. I, no. I believe in. And, and um, I don't know who's gonna be here. Yeah. It's like when I do a group, I don't know who's gonna be in the room. Yeah. No. You're no. cool, you're really cool. I'd love Thank to you. talk to you like at length. Thank you. I've been, it's funny, I, I've i had some psychic experiences and I've been saying recently that I wanted to kind of reach out to a psychic because I've always found a lot of clarity in it. And I, for some reason, I've gotten really lucky to meet people who are really good at this and have told me like, I had a psychic um, a long time ago, tell me, and you say you don't like to use the word predict and stuff right. like that, but they, they did. Right. And they wrote out like the next like eight years of my life and everything they told me um that was going to happen ended up coming true and that really like solidified my belief in people who do this and i'd been saying i'd wanted to find someone and, to, and you know. i think it's awesome that you had that experience but we were talking earlier about there are people that are like they do attack the subject matter they have issues with belief and i think it's mm. always important to approach the subject matter with a healthy sense of skepticism not cynicism skepticism yeah. just goes I'm not sure, let me see. Yeah. Cynicism means no matter what you experience, you're just gonna automatically say it's not possible. It can't happen. Yeah. So that's like, you're not allowing, not allow, allowing the potential. Yeah, I agree. You know, and I'm, I'm reading it right now. I mean, just as many people believe, but they go, this is a, a trick or this is, a, it's not. And, and like you said. Everything he just to said to Omari wouldn't, is nowhere. Like, you know, that right. there's no way he possibly could. But until you're Amari or you or sitting there, it, it's like something you have to feel. It's like, I could tell you something tastes good. Yeah. You don't know it tastes good. Yeah. You can, we could tell you, you something's you, real. You can't give someone a belief system. And by the way, I'm not trying. You know what I'm saying? My job is to, here's what I'm doing. Like, if you like it and it helps you, awesome. If not, I kind of don't care. <laughs> Like, I know it sounds terrible to say that, but energetically, I feel like this is what my job is. Like, my job is not to make people like me. Same. <laughs> I knew we were going to get along. Cool. The moment you walked in, I, I was like, like oh, I like her. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet. That's kind of cool that, yeah. that, that he was able to do it. Uh, Tana yeah. is a very successful uh, influencer. Yeah. Is that what you, what are you? Entrepreneur. I don't know how we, you're I'm a podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> you have yeah. a tour coming up too, I a do. podcaster. Yeah. yeah, her podcast yeah. is great. She said I was gonna be on it, but never really invited me. I get scared to invite you. Like, I, I think no. you forget you're Howie Mandel. I don't. I'm reminded every <laughs> single moment of my existence that I'm Howie Mandel. I would like to come. And I was showing, I don't know if you saw last week when we had Ethan here, I was talking about you and your podcast and yeah. I was watching your, uh, your buddy. Bro, yeah. talk about. Uh, Did you see what he said? What he was talking about? I saw some clips, but I don't think I saw you talking about the podcast. Oh, oh her uh, her, her uh, co-host uh, was dating a guy by the name of uh, Matt Rife. Oh, I know who that is. <laughs> you know who that is. Yeah. Uh, but then he went on a he went on a on a podcast on another podcast, not theirs, and and kind of made some. Um, he talked about what he didn't like about the female anatomy certain things about the female anatomy. Yeah. He didn't like uh, like an Audi, a real Audi vagina that looks like <laughs> it, that, that God left a tag on, he said, or like chewing gum. And what I was fascinated with, what I was fascinated with. I love this is no, like I'm telling you where it for is. two weeks. No, but what <laughs> I was not fascinated even two weeks. with, I've been hearing about she this was, months. She, but she was pissed off because, and I found this kind of bizarre because she went, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Which, yeah, she, uh, it's actually funny, just the other day she was like, I never thought I would live in a realm where Howie Mandel knows what's going on with my vagina. And I was like, yeah, dude, life's There was a hashtag was going viral called, uh, it was hashtag Howie for Audis. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Howie for Audis. But it wasn't just Audis, the way he was describing it was not. It was like a negative connotation. And obviously right. for her to say a negative connotation about her, and that, uh, about a general negative connotation yeah. about a certain part of the anatomy <laughs> yeah. and her to go, that's me. Yeah. I kind of equated, <laughs> yeah. I equated and it gave somebody a sound bite. I gave Ethan a, a sound, sound bite. Uh, yes. That's a, that's a clip to go. Because viral, if viral. I said, if, if a with woman, a P by the way, what yeah. I said, that's a clip to go viral. And yeah. I just emphasized I meant yeah. with a yeah. P. No clits here. No. 
Why are you bringing up Thank clits? You. Your daughter's in the room, and so is mine. Oh, Let's fucking, not talk fuck. clits with the girls. Anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? No, because our daughters are here. If our daughters weren't here, we have more clit talk. We'll be back with more clit talk right after this. <laughs> but, the, but, the, but the point that I'm making is, I uh, my oh, reference, howie. and he used it as a soundbite, and I saw it on uh, X the other day, and somebody did it. Oh, I was playing it in the yeah. store. Do you, do you have that? Did I send that to you? The the uh, you did, you just showed me. Oh, uh, we can't play that though. Do you have that? Somebody look. It's that like up. only on his phone right now. He's no, like, because, but you can't play that. No, no, no because like, oh. because my son. I was with my son someplace in public, and I go look what they did, and then I couldn't turn it off. And but but it's me saying because I said if a woman went on and said the one thing I can't stand, the one thing I can't stand, is a micro dick. Okay. And I went wait. That's me. Yeah. But you like, said I have micro dick. Well, yeah, why would you said, claim that? That I wouldn't was my point. Yeah. But I did that, and then they have it. Is, are we going to find it? Because it went up. It's it not find it. It's on your phone, Dad. There's no way to find it if it's on your phone. No, but I'm with my son. Me and my son are doing a father son we really get it, bonding Dad, afternoon. But there's no way to find a video clip that you have. Well, the, the thing was, it wasn't even on his phone. He just like someone shared a clip with him on. I think it was on X. Yeah. On, oh, you're on, talking about a clip that was shared on X. Yeah. yeah. Like that. Oh. And then, I think you're fucked, Howie. Yeah. I think no one's seeing no, the wait, wait. full volume. <laughs> Uh -huh. And I don't know if you've watched the clip on X, but they got rid of the play buttons and stop buttons. You just scroll past it to stop it. So he's freaking out. There's kids around us, and it's just over and over and over again yelling, I have a micro dick. I have a micro <laughs> Now, you and just gave like him a, a sound bite. Oh, damn it. <laughs> it's like my son takes after me. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't think that's something to be embarrassed about, just like an Audi vagina. No, I didn't think it was embarrassing. You don't think it's odd that she was claiming that he's talking about her? I don't her? think she was just like, yay, this is so fun. What like, are you that's blowing? Why are you blowing? Um, I get scared to vape around you. Oh, vape. I didn't know what you were doing. I just uh, It was weird because I didn't know you <laughs> She vape. turned into a dragon. <laughs> I just saw you for all of a sudden in the middle of a conversation just go... <laughs> I don't see any birthday cake. I don't see. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I think that um, she was... This was one of many reasons why she was frustrated with him, like of things that he'd done and said online and things he'd done and said to her. This wasn't the straw that broke the camel's back or the main point. I think this is just what you've chosen to hone in on, which is true how he fashioned. It was a thing that ripped the meaty curtain. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful analogy. A poet. I'm a poet. And he knows it. Um, <laughs> and I think that it was kind of like she was dating him and hooking up with him at the time and she was more frustrated. I, that think, it was she like, was, I think she was hooking up with him. I don't think he thought they were dating. Well, Are you he, dating now? No. No. I think that, um, that's good. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> like, I no. think that it's fine if you're hooking up with someone so long as the boundaries are clear. Hey, I just want to hook up with you. I think that he, he was, you know, I want to get married. I want only you. You're the one. Like spending Valentine's Day together, flying her out to shows, doing all of these things, insinuating that there was a long monogamous future between the two of them, and then come to find out he was doing and saying the exact same things to approximately 25 other girls. Wow. And and down to like the same, he's sending the same photo to 25 girls. He's well, you know Matt same. Reif is most famous for his crowd work. Yeah, he was, he was crowd work. <laughs> and he was definitely working that crowd. That's funny. Why did no one make that joke? Good job, Howie. Somebody ten did. Ten. I, I, when I make a joke, don't say why did no one make that joke <laughs> <laughs> until now until like i wish one of us did that come on um and now brooke actually on our tour we have a show in washington dc and that was the city matt took her to and he played this massive venue in dc and now we're playing the same venue and she's bringing all 25 girls out on the show to no her. way she yeah. found all how did she yeah they created them? a group chat they all started reaching oh, out to her that is and amazing. saying the same thing happened to me so that show is going to be a really um fun one maybe matt you, will come join you guys should call bravo i i yeah. we really fucking should right real yeah. real housewives of rife <laughs> <laughs> what, what where's the event um, going to be uh washington dc i don't remember the actual venue these guys are playing arenas um, and theaters you have no idea. These are absolutely. Mm. The, this is a rock star. These, these yeah, are so sweet. These people. No, I'm not sweet. I'm being honest. <laughs> He's but, being factual. Uh, yeah, no, I'm being factual. You sure. should listen to the podcast. It's called can, can I? Can't it's I? It's called honest? canceled. Yeah, you. I want you to be on canceled. You keep so saying bad. it, but I have a feeling I don't show up. I don't think any of us do. We won't show up where we're not really asked. 
I okay, I will. I'm gonna send a formal ask by like with doves and shit. I'm gonna. Really I don't want it. any doves and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't he amazing? You're so amazing. That was actually really crazy. And I'm. Thank you. I'm excited to talk more with you off camera. I want to know everything else you want to know, or everything else you know. I want to know everything else. Well, you he, know. you're the one that said you had stuff off camera. Why do you want to talk to her off camera? It's too, you, too. Just, yeah. Yeah, I believe it. I think I know the direction you're gonna go in. Really? Um, and yeah. it is something that. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. Does it not it scare is. you? It scares me. It scares me. the shit out of me. But I mean, wouldn't you rather? Isn't don't you find ignorance bliss? You know, the first time I, I was read, lot. I was read by accident. Okay. I'll be honest with you. I hated it. Yes, yeah, so and did I, I. And I hated it because <laughs> I did too. It's kind of like it's a violation. It feels like that, like you're in a you're checking in a hotel room and there's a hidden fucking camera, but yeah. it's from the occult. You if know, you, yeah. if you don't, if you don't like really like want it, and then you kind of like think it's not real, and then it happens, it's kind of like, well, hold on. And that's how my journey began, where I was like, wait, I don't want anybody to be able to do this again. So how do I how do I stop that? So I I equate it to if you've been robbed, you put a security system in. Yeah. So from an energetic standpoint, I wanted to learn how to do that. Mm. And then by doing that, I learned my entire life I had been doing this. And that's how my journey began. But that's where we go back to you, where you need to put in your own energetic security system in Absolutely. just to kind of be a little guarded. Yeah. Yours was 100%. with your dad, right? Yeah. Yeah. My dad came and talked to me. That's but cool. And yes, now it is. But in the moment, I felt like, oh, my God. But it, it, but it, it cracked you open. Yeah, so that the, the 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 result is great. It kind of did crack me open, but in the moment it was uh, kind of terrifying and and maddening. You know, like you do want you want to feel. But like see, this is no, the reason why it's, no private moments. But this is the reason why it's like whenever I, I I answer questions for like young fledgling psychics that are starting or people that are on TikTok or I make statements when I'm lecturing and being on YouTube or whatever. I'll always Facebook lives. It's never okay to enter someone's vibration without their consent or their permission. Mm -hmm. So it's never okay to walk. I've up always to, said that. It's never okay to walk up to somebody and like ambush them with information, and it, because you don't know where that person is on their journey of grief, and it can actually do more damage than good. And you can have the most positive intentions to try to help and heal, but it could affect them in a negative way on their journey. That's like the Long Island medium that always goes up and talks to. You know, there was that whole show where yeah. she just went up. Right. Teresa. To yeah, I used to watch that show. But from an energetic standpoint, that's yeah. a that's a show that's produced. Like yeah. so, people know that they're going to be part of that, right? They know that they're going to be on that. It's not like just like like cameras or cameras. You see them coming, so it's different from having somebody walk up to somebody with their camera at Costco and then attack read somebody and then go put that on TikTok. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like there's no there's no consent in that. If somebody's going to be on a reality show, there's going to be a release. It's got to be signed. There's got to be an opportunity for somebody to know that they're going to be having the opportunity for that. Yeah. But on the internet, there isn't that opportunity. Somebody that's, can that's be- It's really cool that you're like aware of that though. It's really good. He's been doing it for a long time. He's been Forever. Doing... <laughs> How did you know? I, I, I was 15, my mom's side of the family used to have psychics come to the house. And I was like two years younger than she was. And I used to make fun of the people. So I used, <laughs> to, I used to like be like, you know, I used to be the people who make fun of me. I, yeah. was, I was that person yeah. until I had a reading that cracked me open and then freaked me out in a way that I didn't really enjoy. And yeah. then that made me want to learn more about how, how to make sure nobody else could do that. Yeah. And then in the studying of it, I started to learn about everything from past life regression therapy to numerology, to astrology, to astral projection, to people having out experiences mm -hmm. going, hold on a second. Like this is an imagination. Like this is like, like people, like this is real. Like this is common sense. I had always seen what I refer to as my little old man friend. So when you were talking about Jacqueline, I was laughing because I had a little old man friend that I would see as a kid. And that turned out to be my grandfather, but I didn't know him in life. Yeah. So I called him my little old man friend and he would show up and he would give me information about my family. But my family never made a big deal about it. They'd just be like, so have you heard from your little old man friend? Yeah. Funny. Have you had, uh, aside from going to mediums and have readings, have you, do you think you've seen ghosts? Do you think you've had an uh, event that you can't explain or something that scared you? I, I mean, I believe in ghosts. I like to not think about them. I'm weirdly a scaredy cat. I sleep with all the lights on. I like to do all that. Um, I have really weird dreams where like I dream things and like then they happen. And that's always happened to me. That's called precognition. So you're having precognitive dreams. Okay. And they're giving you like insights. Yeah. And, and sometimes always, sometimes they're not always exactly what is going to happen, but it's, yeah. the, it's the hint. Like I was in San Diego a week ago mm. and I had a dream when I was in San Diego that I was in my grandmother's house and the entire house was flooded. Mm. 
mm. and I was up on the kitchen counter and she was complaining about what was happening in the house. Mm. My grandmother was long gone. And I, I thought, what an odd dream. And then the floods happened in San Diego. Yeah. So I was in my grandmother's house on Long Island, not in San Diego, but I was physically in San Diego when I had the dream. Yeah, that's Because sometimes there's an interpretation where you like, you can reflect back on and be like, oh, that's yeah. what that was. That's, that is crazy. When yeah. I was Kyle, a, 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 Kyle yeah. just texted me. He said, there's also more people waiting in the Zoom if we wanted to get to them, if we had enough time. I don't know if you wanted to do that or not. You want to see him read already, somebody? Sure. Yeah, that's really good. I used I, to, as a, as a teenager, I used to have a lot of uh, wet dreams. I don't think but we're going to get to true. everyone. <laughs> I doubt we'll get to everyone in the Zoom. No. We, no you want to you you do another read? One more? Or what do you want? Or do you feel like a. And then we're going to take her to lunch. Aww. <laughs> Aww. That's cute. Okay, let's do one more and then uh, don't tell us your name. Hi. Where's she sitting? She's both. <laughs> very blurry she, she sunk into a there she is on the screen <laughs> she's just uh boy yeah i don't know if you can help her <laughs> she's Hello. oh hi oh it's a buffet of people a buffet of people is crazy this is the lady oh here can you hear us and you're her hi. and you're her it person <laughs> yes i am her it person i'm her daughter i live next door this is donna oh. hi donna how are you hi i'm fine um couple of things the the where's the t name living or past connected to you donna where somebody's got a t name living or past connected to you t like as in thomas t t as in like thomas t as in like in teresa i'm tara who's t tara, tara. Oh. Hey, tara. tara we have a better connection to the other side than we do <laughs> to <laughs> your zoom <laughs> Howie. <laughs> so you're Tara? Oh. Okay. Yeah, she's Tara. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um Tara, I just need I don't need to Tara, see you. Yeah. I don't need to see you. I just need to hear you. Tara, are you Tara M like Tara Michelle or Tara Marie? Can you hear me? Yeah. They're trying to no. think of it. Terry. Or Terry, yeah, I have a sister Terry. Terry Marie. I have yeah. a sister Terry Marie. Thank you. Because I'm looking for the <laughs> T name with the middle name with the M. And she's living, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Where's the person that had, there's somebody that's coming through who had congestive heart failure or COPD. There's some type of heaviness in the chest that feels to me is like congestive heart failure, cardiac related. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. My Hold on. Wait, wait, my job. Wait, 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 my job. Um, and then the month of July <laughs> seems to be connected to you guys' birthday or anniversary because they're showing me July. So either somebody passed in July, but there's something about July, correct? Yes. Okay. Is that Tara when somebody passed? Yes, July 6th. Okay, I just need you to know that the person who passed in July is, is kind of coming in. I feel like I want to talk about either changing your rugs or changing something on the floor <laughs> or you're doing something with the rugs or changing something in the floor. Is that happening now? Yes, okay. I'm putting... Um, my grandchildren are coming tomorrow and um, I had to fix the rugs and put a padded rug out because... They like to bounce around. <laughs> okay. And then is there a new puppy in the house that's peeing everywhere? Oh, not new, but yes, my little guy is like. So we have an incontinent a, pup. Oh. He's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. That's a special breed. Um, yeah, so Tara, is your dad passed? Nope, my dad uh, hold on, wait, is wait, wait, wait. still alive. Hold on. I have dad here. So for me, that means father, oh. father-in-law. There's a dad energy that's coming in. My, yeah, we lo I lost my father-in-law. Yeah, so the dad's here. And then I'm supposed to say that somebody had Alzheimer's and they were not of clear mind before they left and they have all their memories back, Tara. Oh my God. There you go. Okay. 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 So when, somebody's, <laughs> when somebody crosses and they're dealing with dementia or Alzheimer's or senility, you know, I, if anybody right now watching this is dealing with that, like I want you to talk to the person like they can hear you because one day when they transition, they're going to get all those conversations back. They're going to get all those memories back. They're going to get all that connection back, right? So Tara, we have to talk about your thyroid. Are you taking your medication? Um, actually, it's, uh, oh my God. My daughter and I just had this conversation yesterday and we were talking about how um, my daughter has thyroid and um, an auto. We both have autoimmune disorders. And well, they're showing um, me they're showing me Hashimoto's. So that's why I was saying that. That's yeah. That's my daughter. Yeah. So I always tell people, not a doctor can't diagnose, but when I see something, I, I'm giving it as a caution. So I feel like stay on top of that. You know, that little old 
<laughs> that little the little thyroid controls a lot. So Im- important to look, look, look at that. And then um, I kind of feel like either you have a sibling who's passed or there's an energy of a sibling who's here. And I want you to know that your father-in-law is bringing in the sibling. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So is that Donna's daughter that we're talking about or Donna's child? That's my son. Your son? Oh, he's that's got a, my son. That's passed. Brother. Who's passed? Yes. Okay. Just my to be, brother. I want to be clear. I'm getting him soft and sensitive and I interpreted that as being a girl. So I just want you to know that he's coming across that way for me. So that, that's why I'm, I'm, that's why I thought you had a sister. Um, and I say with full disclosure, when my son was on his way, I thought he was going to be a girl too. And he has that same kind of soft, soft and sens- sensitive uh, energy. So anyway, long story short, I have- and, the, and my son is very soft and sensitive. Is your, <laughs> is your son the July passing? Okay. Yes, yes. And him. hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait, well, hold, hold on. What's the connection to July for him? It's his birthday. Okay. July 6th. Okay. He wants me to highlight that he's got the connection to, to July. He's telling me that now nobody can see behind you. We don't know where you are. It doesn't really matter where you are. Your Zoom's got a blur on it for the people that can't see this and they might only be listening. But he's telling me if we, no, no, don't, don't take it off. If you look to the left, right? Nope. If you guys look to your left, He's there. And I don't mean like his energy. I mean something of him. You have him there. So I don't know if his like big photos out, his urn, but there's something right there to your left. Correct? Yes, get his picture. Do you want to see it? No, I believe you. He's telling me to also talk about Stephen, Stefan, Stephen, Steve. Who is that? Who's the S name? I don't know who Steve is. So he's telling me to say, it sounds like SN. So to me, that's Stephen. Simon, Susan, there's an SN name. So it's his way of acknowledging, please say hello to or who I'm with. But he's acknowledging what sounds like Steve, Stephen. I'm going to leave it at Stephen. I, I could be wrong, but just know, know, how I, know how I got it. And then I want you to know that there's an out of state feeling, guys. He's making me feel like out of state. Somebody's out of state. So was there somebody out of the state when he passed? Was somebody in a different state or different? You guys run away yet? Oh, my sister yeah. was out of state. Okay. My aunt, yeah. Yeah. She drove back when he passed. And he's telling me that there was a, there's a surprise attached to his passing. Like this was not something that you expected. So my feeling is like there's oh, a, oh. He's, no, he's showing me that this, this is like a shock and a surprise. But you got two shocks and surprises in a very close period of time. So you dealt with two losses, correct? Yes, my mother-in-law too. Okay, because I literally Seven feel like- apart. Say it again. Seven months apart. I literally feel like you had like two of those, but he's making me feel like I'm 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 with family. Um, he, Donna, he wants me to make fun of your name. Like I need to do like the name game. Like I want to be like Donna, Donna, Bobana. Like I want to I want to yes, mess around yes, with your name. Yes, yes, yes. Like Donna, like he's calling you by your first name. Like Donna, Donna. <laughs> and then he's telling me to talk about either the cat named Shadow or the dog named Shadow. What is this? The dog named Shadow. Shadow. The dog. Oh my God! Yes, a white samoyed. Oh. Is that dog passed? <laughs> yes. So that's his way of letting you know that he's met up with your dog. Oh my God, that's so sweet. Alrighty, I hope this helps, guys. Thank you so much. <sighs> so I, be comforted. Can I ask you one? You can ask me anything can I ask you like. You one more question. You sure can. What about my sister? My mom's sister just passed. Anything coming through on that? No, I'm not getting her. It doesn't mean she's not okay. It doesn't mean that she's not with your family. It just, it's like who kind of takes precedent in my head. Okay. Yeah, and it would be Vince. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Howie. Thank Jackson, you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was pretty Bye-bye. amazing. I and never thought I would like, sob at the Howie Mandel <laughs> show. I, I thought at least I would be like apologizing for something <laughs> sobbing. Not, this is, this is insane. It is insane. I can't it's think. It's so moving. I could watch you do that for hours. It's incredible. Wow. Thank you. It really is. Well, we can watch you out. What, how, with, where do they go? Um, the most, the, the place that I do this the most is evolveplus.tv. So Evolve people. Plus. Everyone go there. Yeah. I have an entire, I'm going to go there. We're going to have a, we'll have a link Yeah, I have an it. entire community where my, my goal is to get people to evolve through what they're navigating in life. So we have phenomenal astrologers and numerologists and a color therapist and tarot folks and meditation and mindful coach. And I've got so much stuff, different channels. My daughter hosts a podcast weekly called the rising gems with a phenomenal astrologer named Lisa Salvatore. That's so cool. Shout out to Lisa. That's 17. That's so cool. 
Yeah, That's and it's so, her birthday so cool. today. She was 16 up until Happy just yesterday. Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. It's a crazy, <laughs> interesting place and, to spend your birthday. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and and ta at Tano, talk about your tour. Where, uh, where do they go to get tickets and where <laughs> is it? Me coming on crying and then promoting my tour and leaving <laughs> is the most iconic shit ever. Um, I'm going on tour. It's completely sold out as of right now. Um, oh, you're not add shows? Uh, we're going to add probably like 15 to 17 shows as of right now. We might add some more, but... Um, you have to have your sound system checked something that's going to come up with your audio in one of your events i believe that you need to have <laughs> probably have, all of them have backup mics or backup headsets or whatever you use oh my god thank you i appreciate that Do you use that's, the same company um yeah we yeah we like hire people to kind of do that and then yeah just, just remember them saying that oh i will okay oh i will um <laughs> so, thank you <laughs> so you're going back i'm sorry i interrupted yeah, no. no, no, no. But I mean, we're going out. And we're so excited to meet all the people and just stay tuned for new shows added. And, and go to kind of what? To um, the Cancelled Podcast website. It's linked on my Instagram. But right now, everything is sold out. So just stay tuned. No, but they should do, do go there and buy merch and do whatever. Yeah. No, but edition. watch. Yeah, I love just watch. watching your just podcast. Just watch the podcast. And yeah. I'm going to be on. I'm going to be on the You the are going to be on. <laughs> she says. No, Howie, I swear it's not that he talks to me like I don't want him on. And it's more that like you I don't said want a burden. I, would, I don't know if you are the guest for their podcast. That is not true. Completely That's honest. not true. You are so beyond totally. No, with, you guys are like girls, girls on the couch gossiping. I would like, love to have Howie come and, and why, be a girl gossip. and be one of your girlfriends. Absolutely. Okay. Why, why am and I not you. good for that? And you. I would love to have you both really? on. It would be so fun. Oh, you were just vying couch. for you yeah. to be on. <laughs> I just don't want my dad. I want to be on. Uh, perfect, honestly. We should <laughs> yeah. do it here, too. I feel like you don't. That's the Any, thing. Okay. Howie, that is a big thing is um, I would be really scared to have you in my um, domain. Why? <laughs> There's just a lot going on at my house and I just feel so like. So then come here. Yeah. I'll go there, but if you if you want to, we're always here. And uh, don't you have a thing you can beam uh, yeah, yourself there? I could yeah. beam myself there. Oh my god, I know I did this last time and it was horrifying. I might do it again today. Okay, I'll have the time and show. My okay, best proto, time. proto, and go cook on proto, proto hologram. Yeah. Anyway, this was a lot of fun, and this is thank a, you. A, no, I can't thank you enough, and I can't thank you enough. For... I feel bad because we had other people in the Zoom too. Is there any way? How do people sign up to get a reading from you if so they didn't get everything here? that I do is e John Edward Like okay. I'm also constantly touring. I'm literally on the road all the time. The last okay. time I talked to you, you were in Australia. Yeah, and yeah. I'm I'm now doing a U.S. tour and we're planning. Congratulations! Yeah, thank you. I, I would love to have you on my podcast at some point anytime you like I'll, yeah i will make myself available if you are can on I just the podcast say something? before us take care of your sound <laughs> yeah take, oh. i need to i i'm surprised that was the only blip he's telling me that's gonna happen why does me. that happen to you before it's just it kind of comes with touring like shit just you know each venue is different each workers are different everything we do we do everything we can but it, it you know the certain little hiccups are bound to happen it's just about being on top of them and you can come see me february 3rd in vegas with preacher lawson he was from agt and doing stand-up no yeah, way yeah february 3rd come on honestly i'm down i have stuff oh, to vegas. promote too Go ahead. My Talk daughter's to. selling Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I want some. I want them. If you mints. want Girl Scout cookies, we'll put the link in the description. We got our axolotl plush. Nice. And now yeah. we're going after a. And you're, he, you promoted your daughter's channel? Buy those fucking Thin Mints, you people. Yeah. Don't, don't be heartless. <laughs> What a great a t shirt heart. for the Girl Scouts of <laughs> America. Those fucking, fucking thin, thin mints, mints people. people. <laughs> we should have, have a heart. On. We should have Raina on to eat, see how many Girl Scout cookies she could eat. Oh my God, I want to be there that day. Yeah. Oh, let's do Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that next week. We have the, okay. she's a challenged, eat, uh, challenged eater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a challenged eater. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you should see, you think you're something. You will, should see her swallow. Oh my God, that's incredible. Howie. <laughs> Howie, he, he's got, one thing about Howie Mandel is he's gonna take it there. You're gonna, you're gonna take it fucking there. I'm surprised I'm excited. you're not canceled. He, he's like, you're like me. We're like cockroaches. We can never die. Yeah, you know. Thank you. Yeah, well, and even if we do, he's gonna keep talking to us. Absolutely. <laughs> Friends for life and after. Aww, yeah, I love that. That's cute. Thanks everybody. Uh, feel free to comment, subscribe, Bye, and do that. Uh, click. And come click. back next Thursday. Yeah, we'll be or and also Tuesdays. And Tuesday, Tuesday yeah. and Thursday. Okay. Yes. Bye. Mm-hmm. <sighs>